I know where my jacket is. I know where I now know where my jacket is. Oh, okay. There we go. And we're back at it with more MSQ. Ooh. So, from Link, Link, we're from where I am. How far do you think we got going? Oh, I mean, so far we're probably around 30% through. Today is just two weeks away from my... Thanks, Twitch. God damn. I just got that as an email from, as an email from Twitch. <laughs> oh, I need to also send a fucking... Grab this link over here. Uh, ooh. Oh, my own ad was trying to get me. <laughs> my own ads were trying to get me, my bad. They're targeting you now as well. Username. That was, all right, that was an interesting start. Anyways, I was just kind of start hitting, hitting away at the, the everlasting hand. Oh no, he's on my screen again. <laughs> Good evening to you, sir. I do hope you are well rested. X Arch and your companion are presently gathered in the oculars. They ask that you can be with them at your earliest convenience. Are we about to have like a fight? It's called a party soon divided. What is about to happen? I wonder. I I do wonder. No, for real, I do. You say that trolling. I I wonder. I say that as a I know what's going to happen, but I'm not going to say anything. Because you're going to watch to see my reaction to it. Rotten bastard. The Crystarium. Okay. It's about to happen. Where is it? Hello! Big ballering right now. Oh, there you are. You're just in time to Ooh. welcome our guest. He did walk in, didn't he? Yep. <laughs> Sir. Sir, you're not supposed to be here. No, like for real, you're like really supposed to be. Look at Rentaro's face. Please. Did I not explicitly tell you that we would? This is really soon, though. Lest you forget, I made you a promise. I have no intention of meddling with your mission. I come only to observe. A word? Your exarch friend in particular has piqued my curiosity. Summoning you all like that. Most impressive. Especially since it's ruined all your plans. Hmm. 
Oh, hey, Dash. Dash, hey. You gonna fall asleep on stream again? What? <laughs> you were asleep on stream all day the other day. I remember that. Oh. That's an L on my book. That's on my bad. Not in my darkest hour. I was sure because I was, I was like, yo, I gotta leave. I gotta head out. And so, a friend Ed, called at the last minute I mean, while I'm about to go to sleep. So I just, I was like, yo, I haven't talked to this person in so long. So I gotta go ahead and chat it up real quick. Wage your war against the Sin Eaters. Hey man, that's an L. Basically a dub in my head. Prove yourselves heroes, brave and true, and I will be glad to embrace you as allies. Allies? Allies worthy of bearing the burden of truth. Who's gonna tell us the truth of his friends? His motive? Surely such a partnership would be preferable to yet another round of fisticuffs. He really doesn't want to fight. This is part of those, his like massive plan. They're, 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 look at that. You call bouncing on the. And thus did the olive branch wither and die. No, you just here right now. Ah. Well, let no man say I did not try. Few times it was. You really expect this to work? Though I suspect you will seek me out when you grow tired of making the same mistakes. It's like. Being a cat person, Difficult is that decisions a must ahead of you. <laughs> in Final Fantasy? Decisions best made no. with the benefit of knowledge to which only the it shows... are privy. Yeah, yeah, Link is like far from not. I'll show you his adventure play in a second. There's all sorts of, I mean, look at all the people here. There's all sorts of classes. There's all sorts of races you can as. Whatever you choose to do, make sure Wait, is that what all the adventures look like? On what? Is that, is like, is being a venture like, is that what it is? Future? Mm. Yeah. Oh, no, it's an adventure. That, that, like, no, my bad. I thought that adventure What's was a race. Ah. There are, I think there's seven. A vain attempt to make us doubt our chosen course, most like. As if we'd believe a word that yeah, passed. Human, we obviously gonna have elf. Human, elf, uh, uh Unless you think there is some truth in what he says. Am I supposed okay. to answer that? Don't make me answer that. Fuck it. I think, I think he has something up his sleeve. There's some truth, because, you know, he's... I believe him, you know? He, I, 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 like, like, he literally lives forever, right? And we keep fucking up his plans. The easiest thing he could do is wait until we die. However, like, he's like, yeah, you know, I want to see what's going on. Like, the colonel, all right? I think he has a slight truth to his word. If he simply meant to lead us astray, he could have done so without revealing himself. At least, not in the manner he did. It goes without saying that an alliance with the Asians is out of the question. Absolutely. But since we have no way of knowing where they might be hiding, it seems only logical to press on with our mission, even if our enemy seems content for it to succeed. Now we're like then confused. let us discuss the Sin Eaters. I would begin by thanking you all for your efforts thus far. In striking down the Light Wardens of Lakeland and Ilmeg, you have accomplished more in your short time here than all of our forces managed in the last century. That may be, but the Wardens of Calusia, Armareng, and Raktika remain. So three more. Where? Indeed. And their precise whereabouts are as yet unknown. Which is why I propose we divide our forces and conduct a systematic survey of each region. What I should really hasten the process. I really hope that works. How best to proceed. I'll take our in that case. I know the lie of the land well enough. Easy enough, yeah. That means you're going to take Calusia. No objections, I will make for Calusia. I have connections there both in and around yep. Unimor that may prove useful. Then I would ask that you journey to Raktika. I guess it's Raktika. So does that mean? Find your stone. Ah, huge. Assistance, I doubt the warden will evade your grasp for long. So that would that mean like you're trying to hasten the pacing a little bit? Is your stone of the conjurer you and Ariane used <coughs> to talk about? That's right. Though we haven't spoken much since you left for the forest. Yep. I fear I may be to blame for that. I had every intention of relaying the news of your arrival, but she is. Disinclined? disinclined to speak with me. Why? What did you do? 
You have visited her, have you not? Might I trouble you to... Uh oh. It would be no trouble. Yeah. My thanks. While you are all out in the field, give me a second, your dash. I can show you business. Um, all the different groups of people. Contemplated joining the search myself. All right. But other matters demand my attention. Oh, give me that second. I'm gonna go use the restroom. I can't just sit around and wait for you. What is this? What's that? A missive from Lord Vorthry invites me to join him in Yulmore to discuss the recent conflict at Leda Loral. Somehow I don't think that's going to go well. To offer any bait? It's obviously a trap. Yeah. I should be surprised if it were not. Nevertheless, I must seize this opportunity to speak with him, even if only a few words are exchanged. Though my power will be much diminished so far from the tower, it is a risk I am willing to take. You should take people with you. Master Alphano. Might I impose upon you to accompany me to your war prior to beginning your reconnaissance? Wait. Of course. Okay. Actually, it's not, a, it's not really a good idea to send Alphano back. They're kind of looking... They're kind of looking for him. Are they not? Oh. Before you leave, I will make a request of you. There's a church, or rather the ruins of a church, at Fort Job. I ask you to go there before it's not It was a place where people once gathered to worship the light. At last, it has long since fallen to the dead. Yet within that, that hall, there remains a tablet whose writings, I believe, may prove of use. Or at least such a relic would make such a gift for your reunion. A most considerate proposal. Very well. Ere we depart to Raktika, we shall journey on to Fort Job that we may secure this relic. Dear God, I have to read more fucking Yuri Anjay dialogue and read it out loud for Christ's sake. I'm gonna be stumbling around the words so often. <laughs> Where is it? Where is everybody? There's usually more people up here. What? Oh, shit. You know what I should do? Realize now. Probably go do more of the, uh, the hunt quest. Do a bit more of that. Yeah, because you got to finish that up. I have to finish. Importance. Usika Universalis. Is that the one? Job well done. Very funny. Where are you, my friend? Gotta be you over here. Wait a minute. He's not here, is he? <clears throat> He's not here, is he? Am I going crazy? Where's this guy? Yeah, he's not here. So where is he? Where we? Where we put him? Link, can you help me figure out where this guy went? I mean, I'm not sure. Part of the quest you're on. I did, I did three before he kicked me out. Let's check. Let me check you more. Most likely will be over there. Oh, hello. New area that I'm not familiar with. Oh, it'll make Colusia. They're not here either. Not. In Amarang. Because he's in Amarang. If it's the quest I'm thinking it is. 
I did the. F Doesn't say he's an armoring. What's the what's the location before that? Uh, for, for defined by laws, that's cool as I. You see it. Wait. Where in the world is? Man. I'm just going on a fucking manhunt for this guy. What the fuck? Maybe I only can't see him because because all the quest markers are. I've straight lost this dude. Village of Woe, a plankless task. I imagine these are like. Yeah. I'm Meringue, you said? Yep, that's where the fourth one should be. Oh, yeah, journeys. Journeys. I recall being. I, I recall ending it over there last time, too. Gotta be here. Not here. The next one Level is. 76. Ooh, ooh. I've not, I don't think I've, I don't think I've been to Sulu yet. Yeah. yeah. Sulu <laughs> found, it's a Numo found in, uh, Ilmang. I think he's here. He... Yep, 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 he's here, oh, he's here. I was like, where, I was like, where is this guy? Hey, man. Princess. He's hard as Phil of more soup. Hey there, sinner. You brought the bad news to the widow of the scavenger while you were away. We took it about as well as you'd expect. After she'd cried herself hoarse, I started asking about the choker where her husband had caught it. Seems he and his mates took a trip up to Il Meg a year or so back, hopping to cart all the Voberite treasures that they could carry from the hunt. Of course, in their greed, they neglected to account the Fey folk. Killed and drove mad most of them. Those who survived didn't come away empty-handed, though. In fact, they had stumbled upon a remarkable form. Three sacred treasures in a row. They escaped with two. Fangs of Orthids being pulled by another scavenger to a new. Is that merchant you met at the Beehive, or an agent of his at So, wouldn't it just be easier to find the, the third one? So the merchant gives it over to Melinda for restoration, after which... Yeah, I still can't read that name. Meanwhile, the scavenger here in Mordsu keeps the choker. The eyes of Orth locked away for safekeeping. When he finally decides to sell it, the sinless bastard shows. Yeah, we're gonna go find the third one. Which brings us to here and now. Damned if I know why, but at this point, there's no denying that he's hunting for the royal, all the royal relics. And so, assuming he hasn't already claimed the third one, the Claws of Orthus, then I'd say we go to get a hands on it first and use it to lure him out of hiding. A great idea. But to that end, we'd have to venture into the Fairy Kingdom ourselves. Scavengers didn't receive welcome, and we're not likely to be there. You're wrong, actually. I actually was already over there. I've already traveled with them before. I'm, I'm, I'm like literally their best friend. Happy now, and the little devils let you go? I can only assume that they've taken a liking to you. Indeed they have. That settles it then. We'll head it, we're headed to Hill Meg and ask after this Wilbright ring. Huge. Oh, it's just... Here we go. Wait! Did I- I just realized something. Is Lord Vothri inviting him here? The or, city. yeah, here. The city. No, he's inviting him to Unicron. Gilmore. I remember. I remember reading. Oh, he, he probably said that we he got this while, while we were at Leader. Yep. What a remarkably uneventful trip. I kept jumping at shadows, waiting for eaters or foul demons or worse to attack. But that might be preferable to, to the Fae, frankly. 
So we're going to deal with them eventually if we're going to find, find this ring. After all, the Numo were part of Lobrite society. Without their help, I'm not sure where we even begin our search. Perhaps there's a village of some sort you can guide us to? God. Not any. Not plenty. <laughs> uh, it's so dumb. Plenty, eh? Very well, lead on, sinner. I'll be honest, I thought the Nemo were the, the drowning ones. That's just the dog buddies. Uh. Literally like my favorite. These little guys. Something about your demeanor bespeak of a question unasked. Have I the right of it? Yeah. Bring that belonged to the royal family of Volbert, called the Claws of Porthos. Volbert was long gone, as are the caretakers of the ring you seek. Who can you say we might have got to? You definitely. What was that walking soul? Oh, hello there. You have questions for me? Laws of Orthus. Bring you say. A name I've heard before, but no, nothing save that. Oh. So so old served the, the royal family before the flood. Somewhat temperamental they are. Uh, but surely they have some knowledge of the treasure you see. Hey. Have yourself a convert a conversation or three? Uh, learn anything interesting? Well, this Sul U, the one we have to speak with, eh? A former servant of the royal family. I mean that they've lived over a century. I guess the Fae are technically immortal? Pretty much. He looks oh. That's in time. Do not know you, yet you seem to know me. Echo recall. The fifth was discovered yesterday. I'm not yet of it. That would be. Oh! Brandon. Is this the paladin before? Yep. That's the paladin from Ardbeard's uh, team. What about, what about this Tadric guy? Someone else. These roll quests pretty much give you the backstory of all the uh, other party members. This one is Brandon's, because he's a tank. These are our kith and kin. Found. All people. Yep. Invite death into the castle. That death is already here? Who said that? Oh, she's pretty. Okay. Be reasonable. You cannot put yourself in harm's way. You have a responsibility to your subjects. So I am to gamble with your lives instead. Let them shield me while I alone take shelter and look down upon them from... Yes, exactly. You are the princess. You are Brandon, yes? You recruit? Rather promising one, the captain has told me. A little tell me personally. Oh. You heard me. 
I will not stand idly by while I have the power to make a difference. Together we will see justice for all. Al and your prince. Baldi, I understand. Forgive me my hesitation, my life and sword. I trust that you will not disappoint me. There's no telling what our corporate will strike against, so we must begin our investigation. Witnesses. There are witnesses to be questioned, clues to be gathered. Come. A stubborn child. I wish you best of luck, Brandon. And we're back. I'm fine, you know. But you're holding your head, refracted by a terrible pain, haven't you? Out of memory. Oh, flashback. He also had the echo? Well. Um, cool. Well, uh, he remembers because he, he was there. Yep. You have to know me capable? I was just here. Oh my god, bro. Ain't no way. Gosh. Come on, man. You really gotta do this? I mean, I'm raring to go, apparently, but god, I'm annoyed by this. Oh, questions for you. What happened to their, like, demeanor of wanting to, like, help? Sex tuplet shower. Remember the uh, thing, uh, give as much as taken. Ah, true. Balance. Bad thing. The balance. Give as much as taken, create as much as destroyed, return as much as is given. I remember them. Here we go. Beasts are no more then. No. Good, good. I hadn't, I hadn't the heart to do it myself. There were no ordinary beasts, old friends who had survived the flood. Victims of the curse you heard us speaking your vision. But this curse transformed people into monsters. Like how sin eaters can spawn more of their own kind. I'll speak no more of this other matters until you have completed the task I set before you. This is not negotiable. Damn. <laughs> and tomorrow will accept my terms and so must you. Wow. 
Your comrade refuses to acknowledge his situation. This may take time, but I am patient. Indeed, I've dealt with, a st with many a stubborn child in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, on leave so you can talk to me. Exemplary timing. It was not a moment ago that granted a return. At, having at last obliged my humble. I'm gonna request my ass. There's no but nothing. There's one no better than Elmoran, Elmoran aristocrat. So custom making others do their bidding. I tell you, nothing offering about taking orders from a dog. Ere you continue to give me. Ere you continue and give me cause to reconsider aiding your hunt, perhaps you should ask the family. Fine. Charles said he saw a vision of you and Brandon growing as thick as teeth. We were friends, eh? What's he up to now? Brandon's dead. He died a century ago, together with his comrades, in an attempt to halt the floods that they set that, that they themselves set in motion. I presume you speak of the eater that took possession of his corpse. Yeah. But unlike most eaters, he's been doing more than roam about aimlessly. For some reason, he's been hunting down the royal treasures of the old Volbert. And he's been killing anyone who got in his way. Is he now? <laughs> what irony. Even in death, he remains a slave to duty, a knight brave and true. A murderer, and I will not hear it say otherwise. He ruined my, not he ruined my life, killed my beloved right before my very eyes. Every night, I go to bed dreaming of the day I'll take my revenge. Oh, I... Truly, you have suffered a terrible loss. But, you, but your thirst for vengeance is quite natural and, un and understandable. It is ultimately misguided. Unusual behavior notwithstanding, uh, he is nevertheless no more than an eater. To hate him is to hate the sea that claims the ship, the seas that steals the child, the tremor that topples them, the mindless force of nature that begets destruction driven by fragmented memory. Better freak out? Don't you dare make excuses for it. You think I wanted any of this? I grew up on a farm. I could barely wield a sword, and now I've got to kill one of the one of the bloody cardinal virtues. Hate and anger and vengeance, and vengeance are all I got now. My every waking moment is dedicated to plotting his death. It has to be. It has to be. So tell us where the goddamn ring is and we'll be on our way. This is how it has to be, hmm? That's where you... Nay, I think now you ask too much, demand too far, far too much in exchange for what? This I cannot abide. Are you trying to barter with me? You little shite. Tell me what I want to know, or I'll beat it out of you. Wow, bro. Back off? I won't let anyone stand in between me and, and Melinda's murderer. Are we serious? Brandon was a dear friend. To know that an eater disgraces his flesh and his memory pains me more than I can express. Would bring me grant great comfort if you were to grant some peace. I mean, yeah, we'll do. I'd like to share with you a story. If you so kind of join me in, in Gia Gia. Guess I better have a point. This guy needs to chill out, bro. I get he's mad and all, but like... I hope he understands... Thing. Where the fuck's... At the gate? Dear God. So much traveling. Oh. oh, now we're just gonna be traveling over there. Oh, you dash returned yet or no? Not sure. There you go. I'll give him an hour. I'll give him the next thirty minutes, really. Then you're free to blink them. Bum. Bum. Blue what is that? How exactly? Huh? Oh, you're not a mod, blue that's right. Out. Yeah, yeah on the server. That is correct. I guess the job befalls me. Huh. 
I didn't even realize an Aether right here. Hey, you, you touch on it for mine. But you attack me. Good. I don't even know if it was even faster though. Go, level 78. Supposed to dissuade me from actually mission because I'm not leveled. It's beautiful even now. A place of forgotten dreams. Fort was Lygia. In the time of Obert, nothing else. The memory of mine in which you talked to was a troubled time when the people of Rakina were preyed upon by an ambitious fool. Brandon, then a young knight. Uh, who had who had only only won his spurs? I got the eye of Princess Soldia, who chose him as his personal guardian. However, he was far too inexperienced and unable to keep her safe when he ventured outside of the wall and wanted to investigate. Uh oh. For his failure, he was stripped of his knighthood, and shortly thereafter, he quit Volbert. Thought I would never see him again. Damn. Then one day he returned as one of the several wandering adventurers. Led by a man named Ardbert, who had accepted our invitation to look into the mysterious transformation, which had continued unabated in Brandon's absence. Lady Soldia was overjoyed, and for a time it was like nothing had changed. They often spoke often and grew even closer. Then came the day where we learned the truth. We learned that the architect of our kingdom's suffering was none other than the court mage Tadric. Oh, the dude in my the, the dude that was in the uh, the memory. Indeed. A <laughs> little lullaby walk. It's him, Brandon. I'm sorry. So am I. Come. Let's have done with this. Damn. They're neither gonna deal with Tadric. They're about to blow him up and everything. Oh shit. Looks kind of cool. It was you, Tadric. Do not deny it. Tormenting our people, twisting and transforming them into monsters, and for what? Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. After I took such pains to be rid of you. You may strip me of my titles, but not my oaths. I shall serve Lady Saldia till my dying breath. As you, as you like. Once I've killed you and your friends, there'll be no one left to stop me from claiming the throne. Hear me, my children. The hour of reckoning is at hand. Rejoice, for a noble sacrifice shall you find everlasting glory. Whom you shall know no more. What is he doing? Wow. All right. I was going to make it quick for old time's sake, but now I think I ought to take my time. Am I going to be playing as Brandon? I'm going to be playing as Brandon. Yep, time to play as the tank. The Paladin. This is cool. I, I recognize that they've that they've added this specific thing. Your target HP. I gotta heal my friends. That was just more it's like a heal yourself sort of thing. Although if you're playing actual paladin, you pretty much never. I, I see. I have a that AOE ability on a, three increases yeah. your damage. I see. 
worst of one is just your three gun combo. Yeah, and I'm at an AOE one, one, one and two on here. They gave me interrupt, which means I got a feeling that they want me to do something with that. I'm going to block this one, actually. Start hitting him. I do want to play, I do want to play, uh, I would like to play, whatchamacallit, Paladin at some point. Yeah? I tried to sprint. Trying to get that figured out, I was like, what the fuck do I want to do? Uh, what for one person to take? So I think we both got to figure out. I'm out of mana! Get that thing again where they blow up everybody at the same time. One. Now they're all here. Now there's two more inside. Come on, pop it.
begging to kill this guy. Yeah. They won't let me fucking. Leave. This is a deep get shot. I mean, easy enough, I guess. Door. There we go. Whew. All right, buddy. Meddlesome wrench. This kingdom was. By rights, mine. Damn. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Monster time. What the? It's like every time. It's like every time Brandon pulls up on screen, there's something bad happens to this lady. And now he dies. Well, is he officially dead? Better question. All the else speak to me. You honor your vows even now. Now and ever after, my yours, my sword is yours, Commander. She's gonna ask you to kill her. Yeah. But I had the strength to wield it myself. Be your heart for the good of Wolvert and her people. Asked him, did he ask him to kill her? Is that what he's doing? I think so. Oh, there she goes. Yeah. What? Oh, shit. The short few frames that I've only seen them together is actually tough. They do a really dope story on this. Act down. Rounded up the rest of Tadric's co-conspirators and tossed them into the gate into the jail. 
ones who hasn't been corrupted by his magics, that is. Oh. That's a smug look. I don't hesitate again, no matter the cost, no matter the sacrifice. Hey, bro. I live by the word. Damn. I live by the words. I live by the words. Well. Not exact, not, of course not to a T, but nah, bro. Whenever Ishin whipped those words out after he beat my ass for the 13th time. <laughs> hesitation is defeat, bro. Bro, what I saw was so realistic, it was literally like I was there, bro. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Oh, and now, now, and now Grenson actually has, like, sympathy for him. Hey, that's the point of the story, buddy. You've learned empathy. You, you've unlocked empathy and humility. Congratulations. This castle is very pretty. Too bad it, too bad everything else is happening in this fucking game. It's so depressing. Because when I was hyped by Wild Beast and the it was Lady Saudi who came to That is a debt that can never be repaid, for there is not in this world that holds greater value than life itself. Not even her death absolves me of it, and so I always first consider her wishes. Ugh. The divine oneself in opposition to the other, the un an other bereft of complexity of nuance, only devoid of, rede of redeeming qualities, a villain indeed. False and fleeting. Fought with lies, we tell ourselves about who we are, who, what we must be, and what. Never mind the cost, if anything. Do not see Brandon was right that day. Now, the unwavering uh, blade cares not who. And damn. Perhaps you do as well. Leave us for now, Rintaro. Will I be able to complete this quest today? This quest line for today? Yeah, because there's like one more. Oh, I thought they were like gonna hold it off. Nah. Huge. Then I get to have the. I literally get to have the end game fucking experience. Or the end end expansion experience. On well, your job specifically. Yep. It's gonna take me. That's actually gonna jump me into eighty one. Hope you know. Grandson, I hope you have time to walk the path uh, where it invariably leaves all leads all who walk it. Don't. I didn't know what to do after I lost Melinda. How to mourn her or how to live. I thought that if I put it on to him, put everything to the hunt, and I wouldn't have to think about myself or what comes next. I wanted to hollow myself out, to fill up that hole with hate, forget who I was. An irony of ironies is just what that poor bastard tried to do self a century ago, is it? Hm. Hard men making hard choices, what rot. Hold on to m Grant him peace and you will find your own.
maybe. Still, that thing's no more than a mindless eater. Nothing can say or do to make it right. So I'll finish the hunt for Linda and for Brand. Gone, you say? I can't live off hate. I shouldn't have made it this far, frankly. And the more I try to reach out for it, I find sorrow? Pity? First, not fate, but mourn her victims. Remember the dead as they lived. Aye, something like that. Reckon Rintaro would agree. And Melinda, if you were here, you'd probably slap me a dozen times and call me a bloody fool for acting the way I have. Or maybe you've been thinking about doing that in her stead, eh? Excuse me? <laughs> Apologies for treating you with such disrespect before, Sol Un. I'd like, to I'd like to claim that I finally understand what you've been trying to tell me all this time, uh, but I'm still getting my head around it. Recognizing your faults is the first and most important step. True! I will tell you what I know about the Claws of Orthus. The ring, together with the bracelet and choker, were three relics passed down through the royal family over generations, signifying the owner's right to rule. Princess Soldia was the last of her line, and after her death, they were stored in the sanctuary for safekeeping. However, a year ago, a band of thieves learned of its existence. Ones who stole the fangs and the eyes? Yes. The relics were concealed with magical wards. I can only presume that they were once spirited away. He was able to sense their presence. Even in death, a slave to duty, you said? You think he pursued the thieves out of an instinctive loyalty to his princess? That I do. After all, he was content to leave them be for so long as they remained hidden. Only two of the three taken, and the third still. The claw claim the claw of Orthus and he'll surely come for you, yes. Oh, he actually has, like, the... Hey, Nell. Hey, Nelly. How you doing? So he sure just has the, the, the magic powder to actually make it appear. It was in hiding the whole time. Huge. He keeps calling me sinner. You find... Oh, child. This is oddly, like... I don't know. This place... It's like one of those weird, it's like that, it's like the weird realization that you make when you are going through it on, um, ah, fuck. It's like the weird realization that you make when you're going through, like, the, the, the anime Seven Deadly Sins, which, baller anime at the start, then it just fell apart. But, like, it's like the moment you realize that, like, the people who are, who claim to be the good guys, you know, who call themselves, like, the angels and blah, 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 and all that stuff... And the, the the ones who were who were who 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 called the sins bad, and you know, if you watch the show, you would inherently think that the sins are bad people. But no, instead, it's just the sins are trying to do right by him, and and it's the good side that's corrupted. It's like damn. Yep. It's kind of like what I'm getting from this Pretty fucking expansion. This uh, quest. No, not not, not not even with this not even with this quest. This world design the is. entire expansion necessarily. It's it, yeah. It, it's a feeling of very it's a feeling of like it's a feeling of very strange ring rainbow very strange biblical like illusions and it's interesting very interesting all right kind of cool Where is he? So reveal the, the reveal this one and then we fight him. Feel it. Four twenty. Item level four twenty. We're fourth there. It's close enough. We're actually gonna be able to beat him. Do it. You toss the power. You toss the powder into the air, and as it slowly settles to the earth, as twinkling motes of light, a copper begins to take shape. And there it is. There it is. The ring. 
Law of Orthus. And now that it's in our possession, it won't take long for him to be able to come confront us. Wow. It literally did not take long. Yeah, he's chasing after that rune, so as soon as it shows up, here he is. Or we can deal with the hero now. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Mm -hmm. True. Hey there, old man. I don't know you and you don't know me, but I know your story. I know this isn't you, and I know that if Lady Saldio was here, she'd say the same thing. It'll all be over. It'll be all be over soon. I promise you. The arms. I like that. He's like he uh, he has he has the Dark Knight stance. There's the Paladin. And there's the Gunbreaker. That's kind of cool. You, you gotta admit that's kind of cool. Yeah, he is the Dark Knight. Look at him. Ah, right, get away from me. I actually don't know what to do about that. I was just trying to follow what he was doing. And it hurt me. Good, the fight's going well. 
A uh, word? <laughs> Was it not supposed to? I mean, I've some people have found this fight hard. I've seen online. So we're trying to keep him alive. Him? Yep. Because if he dies, it's over. Yeah, I can just give him Aurora real quick. Yeah, in mine, I was just giving him fucking uh, life to sign a bunch of times. Look at those spires again. You might not have the health for that. Oh shit. You, you gotta stack them. Whoa. Yeah, you need one each. They fucking hurt! Yeah? You're meant to mitigate them. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it. They hurt, bro. Damn. Yep. Uh, yeah, they're meant your uh, tank tower. You gotta mitigate them, as if it's a tank buster, effectively. I see. I, I won't. I don't. I don't need to turn them off. I don't need to turn them lower. I just need to be smarter. Okay, I understand now. Tank buster effect. Blah blah blah. Cool. cool. I didn't know that's what those fires meant. So now that I know, I'm gonna be able to ball. Why do you fucking target him? I mean, like, I was trying to fucking hit him with the R. I can use this.
Now I gotta cover him. I'm like weaving in and out. longer now. Oh, that was intense. That, that was that was intensely focused right there. That's what that was. Yeah, it's not like a one of those easy du duty fights. No, oh. they actually decided to make it somewhat challenging. It was fun. Very much a test of your tank knowledge. What it was too is I just I just I just love it thematically. That was just, like, a tank conversation was what that was. Yep. You got a Dark Knight on the right, me as a gunbreaker, and then him as a paladin. It was so sick. And there's the broken crystal. Isn't that the one that he got from fucking... Aldia? Damn. Oh, it's still close. Oh, we put him to... Oh, shit. Can we talk to him? him? Now and ever after, my lady Saldia, my sword is yours to command. This is shade. I will not hesitate again, no matter the cost, no matter the sacrifice. Wait, he trapped in the memory still? Is he living through it over and over and over again? You're wrong, Brandon. That's not what she would have wanted. Let go of your anger. Let go of her. There he is. That would make me lesser in your eyes, wouldn't it? To shoulder a burden that, not, that need not be mine? No. I will not forsake compassion and love. I will not dishonor your memory. Oh, my lady Soldia. A knight's love. Is like no other. 
kekurangan. Oh, but the other Orthus stuff is still here. Oh, you got your... And with that, the three treasures of the Moro family are reunited. Now we gotta find a place to stick them so that no scavenger ever stumble upon them again. It's the, the least we can do for the princess and her right in her night. All right. Ah, that's sick. Look at him; he's growing. Maybe so. Man, Ooh, all these for Let's head back for Platini. You know what's you know what's good about it too? Thematically, because like he's supposed to be he's supposed to be like you know he's supposed to be like a representation of hate. Like his whole character arc was overcoming hate. They made him a fucking dark knight, which is just a is such a small detail. That, you, that I didn't even get to think about until I saw him stance up for the final fight. I was like, yo, that's kind of cool. And it'll be even cooler once you've gone through the uh, Dark Knight storyline. Oh, it's cool. And it'll be a lot cooler once you've, like, learned more about what a Dark Knight actually is and their whole deal. Because I know. And it, and Fair it's enough. Fucking great. It actually makes it so much better. Very fair enough. Honestly, if, if, to tell you the truth, my first experience with Dark Knight, unironically, has to be whenever I would... Um, you ever heard of a game called Bradley Default? Yes, yes. So, um, as you already know, it's, that's, it's a Final Fantasy spinoff. It's a spinoff yeah. title. Uh, but it, ha it shares a lot of the jobs that were in Final Fantasy games. Gunbreaker was unfortunately not one of them. Um, but they got Red Mage, Black Mage, White Mage, uh, Summoner, not Dragoon, they had Lancer. Um, they had a Lancer. Uh, you could be a Pugilist, you could be a Monk, you could be a Ninja, you could be a Thief, you could be a Merchant. But they even had some some uh, Disciples of Hand there somehow. Um, yeah, and then, and now it's your turn to look after the whole lot. That's what Lady Saldi and her knight would have wanted, I reckon. Yes, of course, that their souls may sleep soundly forevermore. We shall enshrine these relics for all eternity. Now that that's settled, I suppose we should be on our way. There's a deed, there's a detour I have to take, but afterwards I'd like to speak with you back at the usual spot, the Crystarium. Okay. No worries. The thing about the th you see the big thing about uh, the Dark Knight thing for me, um, I bumped it. It was one of the class. It was one of the jobs I I actually used on my main party, for the game, right? And its entire thing, it was like uh, it's a weird representation of being selfless. Because yeah, that that is a big part of it. Because you would sacrifice your health to deal damage. Yep. That's what it would be. And so, and I, of course I abused the fuck out of it because you can do this thing called Minus Strike where um, it would take the difference of how much health you had and your max health and it would take the difference between the two. So when you're at, when you have, a, when you have an ability and a game system that allows you to take multiple turns in a, in a single turn, basically you can, basically you can save up turns. Um, save up turns to use them all in one go right so there was an ability that would sacrifice x amount of health you do it three times um especially the one that i had the best of which was the it was the one where i was able to sacrifice uh 30 of my health in a single go so what would happen is i would sacrifice 90 percent of my health and then minus strike and mind you the game had like maybe a damage cap of like of um 9999 and you could only go beyond if you're using a, a a secondary mechanic so basically i would and i would and my character i built i would build the dark knight to have as much health as possible so it'd be in like the tens of thousands so I'd, i would easily get the max cap damage and basically i would spam minus strike till the cows came home and then it got even better because then i maxed out my night job and the night job makes it so that 
if there is a critical health ally, you jump in and take the damage for them instead. So, I could keep my Dark Knight on low forever, um, and, and then save up turns, spam Minus Strike, and things would just disappear. It was kind of great. Banner was the only one who saw through the facade. He's a perceptive one. I took one look at me, and, and when I got back, and broke into a smile. Oh yeah, the barkeep. But enough about him. I have yet to thank you properly, Rintaro. I owe you so much for thinking, for sticking with me to the end. But what's next for you, sinner? <laughs> I get to throw the words back at him. Good question. Can't say I feel at home here and right or anywhere else. So I might spend some time on the road. I may not be as skilled a fighter as you, but I reckon that I'm better than most. And there's always someone in need of a reliable sword hand. Melinda would have wanted me to use my talents for a noble purpose, and helping folks in need fits the bill. Else, isn't that what Brandon and his comrades wound up doing in the end? There's that selfless theme of the Dark Knight once again. So, let's not call it a goodbye. Let's just say, until the next hunt. That's cute. What a good send-off. I'm happy for him! What's up? Wherever you go, may you find shade. Right, because God, because darkness is like they're good. That's nice. That's actually so nice. Uh, what a what a what a nice little ending. That's so nice. That's so good. With all these role quests, I think the, uh, my favorite has got to be the, uh, healer one with the dwarf. With the, uh, dwarf. Oh, uh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Seeker for the Righteous. Is that because I finished that quest? Yep. That's the achievement for finishing the, uh, tank role quest for Shadowbringers. Huge. I can't wait to, I can't wait for level 84 where I get the increased potency for my 1, 2, 3. I'm gonna deal so much more damage. To be fair, that potency increase is literally just like sort of a to keep you up with the health of higher level mobs. So Damn. it won't actually feel all too much different. It's kind of just a put it there so that you actually have damage that is competitive against the mobs so that it doesn't, you know, drop off and take longer. More numbers, but it'll still feel pretty much the same. Here amidst these ruins, we will find the Church of the First Light. Within that hallowed hall, the tablet we seek. That was of the essence, my friend. Let's be quick. Yeah, obviously for like lower level stuff, it'll actually like damage mm -hmm. them a lot more. It'll be noticeable. The height of Lakeland's prosperity, these sites serve not as man's final bastion, but as a testament to ingenuity and architectural prowess. The Church of the First Light was responsible for many marvels, building the majestic chapels in every corner of the realm. Last, blood was inexorable tides would drown every would drown nigh every one and did all but put an end to the religion as a whole. The creatures which then did rise from that fulgent deluge were seen as agent of divine punishment, sent to devour sin and sinner both. Whence became the same, whence became the name of Sin Eater. The people were lost, seemingly forsaken by their god. Yet there is light and hath ever been shade, and it was dark that they ever saw solace. Most devout of these worshippers of shadow did, did to migrate to the Ratika Great Wood. That is a tale for another time. For now, let's find what remaineth of the chapel here. So weird. I feel so oddly... I understand. I understand this world and the way it all works in a completely, like, biblical way, if that makes sense. Hey. I mean, it makes sense with the whole, the whole, uh, idea and, well, I guess design and everything considering the Sin Eaters. Yes. You know, the Sin, you got, you got Sin Eaters. Yeah, it's they're sin calling, eaters. They're calling, each, they're calling each other Sinners, which, yep, like, you because, know, you know. Like, they, 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 like, okay, you know, I mean, surely you already understand. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, I've, I've gone through it all. Yeah, so it's like, it's like, damn. I like this. It's really, it's it's oddly relatable. 
it's weird because all i'm the, uh, like the entire time tonight i've just kept thinking about um what you call it it would be I'd, i would just keep thinking about a story that i heard once in the bible of like it was like a night where i guess like the holy spirit was supposed to like pull up and take people uh i guess to heaven or whatever and it was a, it was an odd display because basically two a bunch of spirits would come down and take people away and they would only be they would only come and take you away if you welcome if you welcome them into your home and when you welcome them to your home or if you don't want them to come in you would have to um paint the blood of a lamb on top of your door frame lest they come in and take you away that's what i at least recall and then I you have me. Yulmore, a city that has welcomed them in. Interesting. I wonder how that's going to progress. Oh, gee, ice cream, sure. Interesting, strange thing about uh, Yulmore and the fact that they're able, their leader is somehow able to uh, form a pact, sort of, with the seniors. Yeah. I'm trying to think of where could that, where could that all meet up. Walk forward, I guess. Sure. We're trying for this. Okay, looking for a tablet now. <laughs> I can see one on Orianje. And Minfilia. Ah. You. This looks like an altar. Well, I mean, it is in a broken down church. Right. You are correct, absolutely. Hey, I spotted it. Right there. Hey, dumbass, did you look <laughs> under the table? <laughs> Within the altar, thou sayest? Yeah, it's right there. Why are you looking at the back of it? Random There's no fact. shelves there. Random fact. Did you know that every altar made um, is holy in a certain way? And it's sanctified... By the fact that back then they used to have it so that um, they would put bones of the apostles into the into the altars to make them, sanct to make them sanctified. Um, but nowadays that 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 like part of the that like part of the apostle that makes it sanctified is built into the altar now, so you can't really just eat it, but it's in there. And that that that's what makes a difference between a table and an altar. How to escape this dynamic theme? This is indeed the tablet we seek. Curious, these engravings predate the Knights of Blessed. If I'm not mistaken, they are writ the script of the entire of Ranka, the capital once stood in the midst of what's now Rattika. It will be no matter than to decipher them. Hm. Find gift for our seeker of truth. This plane, the XR understand that you're only too well. But come, let us quit this place and make ready for the journey to the woods. Into the dark. In the light to be abhorrent, everything it touches to be befouled. Thus, they do take the most utmost pains to protect all they can from anything. Be plain. It is the belief of the blessed one that the that one's own name must must ne'er be altered, must, must ne'er be uttered, in the light of the everlasting day. Yet this commandment precludeth uh, not use of another's. Thus, do parents protect their children, and in rare cases, masters their disciples, so that Yistola. Has taken the name of Master Matoya. He stole Grandma's name. Lest we offend them, I bid you speak not their true name in the Blessed Presence. With that in mind, let us speak with the guard who keepeth vigil the Great Woods border. I, I love and hate reading fucking uh, Urianje's text. <laughs> Me having killed the Sin Eater in Raktika Greatwoods, walking in with a list of the Knights of Blessed's actual names. Oh, there. Time to start reading that shit out in the middle of their, uh... The middle of the day. Home. Make them all freak out. Bum, 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 bum,
I was gonna search up the Amazon. I don't know how far I don't know how far along I am. MS key. Well, Matt Traveler, what brings you? What business brings you here? Yes, of course, right this way. There we go. No matter how far he goes, man cannot resist looking back on the path he has walked. The untold stories and secrets of the past can be more alluring than the promise of tomorrow. And so he braves the forests of Raktika in search of mystery and wonder. We reached it. The Lahi Song. Of Ronka. The Lahi Song? To which all seekers of hidden truths are inevitably drawn. What does that mean? <laughs> Did you hear the song when you first entered? Yeah. We have arrived. Uh, so the uh, composer of a lot of the music in uh, they are, by and large, this game, yeah. Soken, during Not so one of the, the uh, of City, events however, live streams, he comes out <laughs> as during the music, control. sings this fucking song. <laughs> it was hilarious and it became a meme. Are you serious, bro? My boy is just walking in. No lands Here must remain is. beyond our grasp. Go forth, conquer, rule. The words he gave his empire. Forgive me. A sudden pang of nostalgia for those halcyon days. Bro. What's wrong, bro? Exploring virgin territories, subjugating primitive peoples. All for the glory of Garlemald. All right, bro. <laughs> you got to chill out. If you've brought your ivory standard, I'll be happy to tell you where to stick it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was actually Can quite we funny. Simply take a moment to enjoy the view together. Or would you rather I spied on you from the shadows? No, bro. I want you front and center. Every moment you were here is fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. It's it's hilarious for him to get shit on too. It's actually great. It's just a constant back and forth. If you really want to stay, then help us fight. What? What a what a request. No. No. Nah, I'll pass. Even shielded Not by really the shadows it. of these boughs, I feel the light's presence most keenly. Yeah, it's like everlasting day out there. To accompany you is taxing enough. As if. To fight is out of the question. I will suffer your company if I must, but not your commentary. <laughs> and then he says nothing more. Amazing. This For guy is hilarious. <laughs> This, no, he's right there. Oh, Wait, it's so good. This plane are asking you kind of part. Uh... It follows wherever we need where we want. Where otherwise, I'll start with the overabundance of light in these woods. Barely. It rivet. <sighs> Shut up, Ariange. Damn. It predates every corner. It, I guess. Revedeth. Every corner. And so the light. So as long as the light warning the light warning remaineth, the seniors are shall be free to prey upon these lands without Without surcease. If not is done, tis but a matter of time before the blessings to come. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh, yeah. Two years past, still a swarm of seniors did lay waste to their largest settlement, killing a large enemy, a large great, killing a great many of their pe of their priests in so doing. Though some do, though some few did survive, they knew not, they knew not how to go on. Wayward souls in a, in a want of guiding hand, for, for mercy, Stola has provided that which they totally needed. They have since endeavored to restore their homes, and thither have we bend our steps to Fort Gome. And there they go. What are you saying? Oh yeah, so uh, you know how you had like the Philia, Thancred, and Emmett standing there? Yeah. 
when you're on Nemesis Kill this, you you can actually talk to them and get a uh, dialogue. Really? Yep. And there's a lot of like really either in interesting or funny fucking dialogue from all of them. I don't think so. Say on like an MSQ or job quests or whatever, there are NPCs that are standard that are part of the uh, quest, but not you know the one you talk to to progress. You can actually talk to them, like right here. Well, where's this friend of yours we've come to meet? They don't say that they're that they're rebuilding, but there's no one here. We also know Uriangir enjoys painting pictures with his words, but he did not exaggerate about this place. Mm. He just said, hmm, man, Uranje, <laughs> uh, didn't you say this place was, like, their main base? It looks all burnt to the fucking ground. Whew. I see little sign of recent activity. Or have any meaningful progress been made with the reconstruction? Mayhap Yishtola sought shelter elsewhere. Come, let us quit this place. <laughs> what happened to everybody, bro? Where they went? Uh oh. Never mind, hold on. Now, surround them! We've been ambushed. Yeah. Raise yeah. my arms. Bro. Emmett, what are you doing? You, Just leave. <laughs> if you don't drop those bows, I will feed you all to Sin Eaters. They're not like the others. We're not Sin Eaters. There's a reason for that. I will Lower feed you fuckers to speak. the Sin Eaters. Drop no the harm. bows. How is it they can speak? Because we're not Sin Eaters. Sin -eater they mean to kill They're crazy. Us. They're all crazy. Truly all primitive savages. <laughs> as Emmett would put it. They're crazy, bro. Truly. Koopa. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I can just say Koopa in return. Me being me, I just kept my silence here. Why should I deign them with a speech? Fuck, what would he say? He'd, he'd probably just say, please, we're not sin eaters. I do want to know what it said. What happened when they say Koopa, though? That's hilarious. Perhaps they speak the truth. Yeah, we speak the truth. I bet so, whoever. I don't. I really hope you don't fuck uh, things up for us. What? I, I know, right? By accompanying you, we might come to understand one another. But all I have come to understand is that you have a knack for inflaming the natives. I didn't do anything. We walked Why in. Why did the cardinal sin of boring me? And so I retire to the shade. Don't do it. Good luck. He he Good knows luck. he's gonna he knows he's gonna fuck us all up by doing. Oh God. man. There. Did you see that one disappear? Ugh. Yeah. I think I preferred La Habrea. <laughs> Is it finally heard or tell them to stop? Enough. Runar report. Thank God, bro. Yes. Master Matoya. There it is. She's beautiful, bro. He is now a black mage. Ordered, but are you certain these are sin eaters? Or not? The intense light of the ether I saw was unmistakable. If not sin eaters, then what? I do. She's blind. It is passing queer that Yishtola should mistake us for the enemy, is it not? A little strange that she. Mayhap it have been too long since last she beheld the radiance of thine ether. Okay. Oh, you know, probably Master like what, Matoya, what, five or so years? Time truly made strangers of us. Come on now. Nay, I recognize you, Uriange, Thancred. And this is Minfilia of the First, of whom you spoke before. 
You don't recognize me? You don't remember me, though? Just so. Yeah, but and she can only see her. You can only come. see my Ethan. Yeah, my she's only very poorly to have see. my comrades sure. lower their arms. First, explain this other presence in your company. The one I know not. The one there whose is ether one she has not seen in a while. In this world whose ether is suffused with such an abundance of light. Also, wait, she doesn't recognize because you've eaten two light wardens. My apologies, Master Don't forget Matoya, that. But thou art so I basically have the the abundance of, of fucking like two light wardens plus mine. Yeah. Though he is but recently arrived a shit ton here, of light energy within not you. Not one, but two light wardens have already perished by his most puissant hand. Puissant. That's me, guys. It, it cannot be. I. Also, did did Yuri Anjay call her Yestola right in front of right, right in front of her? No. Nice to see you too, Master Matoya. I just hear what the you truly thought me a savior? Come on. Master Matoya? Lower your weapons. <laughs> Forgive us this hostile welcome. Yeah. Come. The cardinal I'm sin of boring me. Now he's just watching from the background. <laughs> you just fucking go. Bitch. Oh yeah, MSQ look. I want to look at your main. Are we into the dark? Oh Jesus Christ, we're only in the third quest in the trunk! <laughs> I feel like the, what, the first hour even, and a half doing the uh, roll one. Yeah. You've been busy since arriving the first, I gather, but I would hear the tale of your rivals in the more suitable surroundings. With Fort Gone yet to be rebuilt, the Knights Blessed made their home in a settlement in the northeast. I'll we'll wait you at its entrance. Follow the path to the yonder gate, and you'll find me soon enough. But then you all leave, leave with each other. I can't think of with you guys. There you are, I was beginning to worry. Just like, much like the Twelves would, this forest has a way of dealing with those who stray too far from the beaten path. But I digress, let me show you the home of the Knight's Blessed. Hang on. Another day, another region to be clearing of the of the night. And due to that one, head out. Alright. Fade. I'm just going to a tune before I have to go do another walk of shame. of the blessed settlements they worship no gods instead revering darkness itself 
It is a curious kind of faith, but one which has granted them the strength to persevere in the wake of its lot. How long was she here for? She was probably here as long as... Banker was the first to go, right? Link? Link? I hope you weren't expecting a grand feast by way of welcome. They are simple people. I wonder if my shits are okay. Now, I would hear of your travels away from prying ears. Come. Seek the Light Warden of Rectica. Yep. In the days after I arrived in the first, I too relied upon the Crystal Exarch for guidance. But his penchant for secrecy and the telling of half truths soon lost him my trust. And thus did I strike out on my own. Fair enough. Very my fair work enough. Eventually led me here to the forest, which I have come to know like the back of my hand. I cannot say with certainty where your quarry is hiding, but I am confident I can narrow the search. Okay. Well, go on then. Yeah. Some few thousand years ago, this forest stood at the heart of the Empire of Ronka. Okay. A great many relics of that civilization yeah. can still be found yeah. to the east. In Ixmaya. Or rather, could be found. Were the area not fiercely guarded. Ixmaya, you see, is home to a tribe of warriors whose lineage is said to date back to the time of the Empire. Any attempt to enter their territory is met with lethal force. They offer no warnings and suffer no trespasser to escape. Needless to say, my every attempt to survey the area has been thwarted. Mayhap the Warden hideth there, full knowing none may approach it for fear of these protectors. Fair idea. As for the tablet... I find the timing of its discovery suspiciously convenient. If I did not know better, I would think someone was trying to curry favor with me. Well, that's because they kind of are. Regardless, it will take time to decipher these writings. Yet I would not be at all surprised if they somehow held the key to entering Ixmaya unmolested. The Exarch has a nose for serendipity. If there is aught I can do to assist thee in unraveling their secrets, thou needst only ask. Thank you, Rianger. I may well take you up on that offer. <laughs> While we set to work, might I suggest you take a tour of the city? Sure. Should you be in any doubt as to the importance of your role as the warrior of darkness, the people here will surely cure you of it. I must say, Stola, while most of us have struggled to come to terms with our altered circumstances, you seem to have adapted rather well. Seems so, yeah. Lest you forget, Master Matoya and I dedicated our lives to uncovering the truth which hides at the heart of our world. Yeah, so, to, so learning this one, yeah. Is nevertheless, bound to that of our home, that I would be daunted by such an invaluable opportunity is absurd. But what of you, Thancred? Could it be that you are still struggling to come to terms with the nature of your young companion? Are you shooting? Are you shooting? Are you shooting bullets? Damn. <laughs> My struggles are none of your concern. Quite why you would speak thus and in this company, I do not know. 
Perhaps you left more of yourself back in the source than I assumed. <laughs> He's offended. What a bitch. Look at this guy. That's hilarious. He tried to poke at her. She shot back. And then he ran away. He understands that I'm not the same. That I'm not her. Damn. Understands, perhaps, but does not accept. The question being whether he ever will. And whether you will, more importantly. As difficult as your circumstances may be, they are yours, not his. Tis you and you alone who bears ultimate responsibility for your life. Major, Major League's true. But you need not make any hard choices now. Why not go and get some fresh air? Clear your head. Okay. Sure. There's another link in the goddamn novice network chat. I'm not indifferent to Thancred's troubles. Nevertheless, I will not apologize for holding with a higher standard after all these years. He has never been a man of considerable resolve, and this is what I will continue to expect. Bro, damn, you cooked him, bro. Like he's not even here to defend himself on that. Though it heartens me to know that some of us remain ourselves in spite of our present circumstances. I can but imagine how Alice and Alfino have changed since coming here, arriving here at the first. Change is a part of life, but we can hope that it's changed for the better. It's true. True. Uh, you're right. And after my un un untoward remark to thank Red, no doubt he thinks I changed for the worse. I'll have to speak to him later. Ahem. Returning to the matter at hand, I really must begin work on deciphering this tab tablet. In the meantime, perhaps you should take a look about Silverbro. If there's anything you need, pray speak with Runar in the plaza. But of course, Runar is not actually his name. Right? Hi, boss. Welcome. From the Crystarium, I see. This tablet you, you brought may help us find the light warden here in Raktika. Well, you're welcome to stay with us for as long as you need. Come, let me show you around. Look at this. And Philly is going to come hang out. Would it be alright if I joined you? Of course, of course. Anything for the guests of our dear Master Matoya. Thank you. It means a great deal to the Knight's Blessed, doesn't she? If not for her, we may have all perished in the Great Fire. Our priests slain and our home in ruins, we are, we're, at, we're at the mercy of the Sin Eaters. Damn. It was she who drove them back, and with her sage guidance, we were able to rebuild. Before long, she became a central figure in our community. And that is not to say that we were not hesitant to consider an outsider such authority, myself included. Perhaps there was a smile in her eyes when she speaks of the sunless sea. I feel whole again. Now that she is with us, I have no doubt that the other feels the same. She is as much part of the night blessings as any of us, and we are grateful that, she all, that all, for all she does in service to the dark. But you did not hear this from me, yes? Now, you should know that there are certain customs that we ask guests to adhere to as long as they reside in, in uh, Slitherbow. To show reverence to the dark? In a word, yes, but fear not, it is not too involved. Let us begin with something simple. Follow me. So while we're here, we have to pray to the dark. Interesting custom. Where'd that guy go? Ah, 
Wow, it's pretty dark in here. Usually any of our people come to this chamber, they have likely returned from a journey from beyond the borders of Raptika. Use the water stored here to cleanse ourselves of light and purity. A simple and perhaps peculiar custom, but is one most important. You two kneel just for a moment, might I, might I rid you of light and purity? The splash. Splish splash and the lights rays turn to ash. There it is. As Renard lightly sprays you with water, your skin begins to tingle. What's in this water, bro? Why am I tingling? And with that, you've been cleansed of the life's blighted, blighted touch. How do you feel? Tingly. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Not refreshed exactly, but I do feel different. Has this water been treated in some way? Only blessed by our priest, or practice in arcane arts. As such, it is said that their prayers, that their prayers imbue the water with a faint dark. That's probably why it fucking freaked out. A prickling sensation? No one's ever spoken of such reaction before. I wouldn't say it was an unpleasant sensation, but I too felt something strange. Hmm. The aspect of this water should have no discernible effect. Are the gods. Master Mortoya was right. You are Sin Eaters. I jest, I jest. <laughs> what you felt was likely no more than a chill of the water. Perhaps now would be a good time for you to acquaint yourself with the people of Slitherow. I think... Link. Would I be wrong in assuming because we're like... We have Highland's Blessing. That light... That like dark imbued water is basically like throwing like... Like... Like grease at us, hot grease at us, or some shit. Basically, splashed us with like. Splashed us with like fucking hot oil. Maybe speak the words, Alin Tuta, and they'll know that you're friends of the blessed. I will, I will await your turn here. Now go. They're more, they're more likely to be heartened by your. To greet the Alin Tuta. First person to say it to. Boom. Go to the say chat. Smiles warmly. Okay. I think Link died. I think so too. I don't know what happened to him. Ah, a newly come traveler. Lin Chitsi. What's this about? You must forgive us if we seem strangely reserved. We are. We are a quiet and taciturn people. Silence and serene as the sunless sea. The quiet makes it easy to discern the presence of eaters and dangers here in the woods. Last one's over here. Didn't you see? Welcome, friend. I, I take you remain in these woods for some time. Yes. Beware of these woods. You'll find really poison. Still not here. Where'd you go, bro? Oh my bad. I had to go fucking fill the uh, dog's water. Fair enough. Hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate, Moss. Shipping. Man, perfect time for the hydrate because uh, now the dog's getting hydrated. Huge. Well, see, a dash really just 
left. Philip. said he was like, what, going to the bathroom? He said he was going to go to the bathroom. Fucking... Now, now he's reenacting flushed away. Like, get out of here. The toilet has fucking taken him. Beware of these woods, you will find poison near everything you see. Fear not, our medicinal tea will keep you healthy. Ask, and it is yours. Everyone was so kind and gracious. I was nervous at first, but I'm already starting to feel at home. There's still much I have to learn about the Knights Blessed, but their faith and strength of will has nothing short of inspiring. I can see how they've built such a thriving community. Very nice place! Place ah, where they worship darkness Very good. in the night. No doubt that they're glad of your company. Remember, if you have any questions, or if there's anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. Whew. Speaking of which, we must arrange food and lodgings for your stay. As friends of Master Matoya, we cannot ask for payment, but if you would be willing to lend a hand... It would be my pleasure, really. We are fortunate indeed to play host to such generous souls. The task I have in mind is simple enough. All I ask is that you take a jug of water and to take a jug and water the crops in the square. Speak with as Rebel, when you finish, you will be relieved to hear the crops have been tended to. But after you take care of that, I'll see to your room and warm. Right then, I'll fill you water. Huge. Alright. This is the only jug I can find with this one left to lift, but I'm afraid that there's a crack at the bottom. We need to hurry to the garden before all the water leaks out. Take the jug of water to the square before you. You have 45 seconds to complete the task. Should you fail, return to Philly and try again. Shit. Um. Shit, okay. You have watered half the plot. Fetch another jug of water to take care of the rest. Strange of it to have just like a crack at the bottom. Is there enough water for the plot? I only got half. Only half? I see. Well, let me refill the jug for you. 30 seconds. Right. Honestly, a little quite liberal. I got like an extra 10 seconds on me. Whole plot number three watered. Yep. Here we go. Hey, the, your, your thing's done. Well met, travelers. I observed you, you're already speaking with the others. Have you need of something? We're just here to tell you that the plot, that the, that the all the stuff's been watered. You watered the crops? Ah, my apologies for not noticing sooner. I've been rather distracted of late. Watering the crops was always Tadia's duty, but she is no longer with us. We've been since taking share into duty, though never with guests. You're most kind. Is there anything else we can do to help? We can plant something if you like. There's no need. The plot is small, it is true, but it provides us with enough to survive. We ask for no more. <clears throat> I don't know how you manage. Have the blessed not considered leaving? Life is surely easier almost anywhere. I can understand why you might say that, but the easiest path is not always the right one. 
him. Tell me, do you know our history? How our faith came to be? Uh, yes, I believe so. The Knights Blessed was initially formed by those who lost their homes in the wake of the Flood. But what began as an occasion of gathering of survivors eventually grew into a community, which ultimately decided to strike out on its own at the Ratika Greatwood. I see you have read your history, but there, but there is a history told and one that is lived. Like so, like so many in those times, the first of the Knights Blessed lost everything, their homes, their loved ones, all they held dear. To make matters worse, none could say what became of the souls of those lost to the flood when their bodies were, were born as sin eaters. People were people were without answers, without hope, their gods having drowned along with everything else. It would seem that nothing was beyond the reach of the lights. But soon they realized that where there's light, there must be darkness. And in that truth, they found a new faith. A belief that the souls of the departed could yet find peace along beyond these burning skies and the sunless sea above. This is why we prayed for safe passage onward of the wayward souls unto the blessed black abyss, and the return of the night, and that we may sometime that we may someday look to the kingdom of heaven with our own eyes. We remain in these woods for the self same reason our founders first chose them, that we may lead lives of simplicity. The shade of these trees is the constant reminder of our faith. But so many seeking paradise in Yomor, it's refreshing to find people who value a humbler existence. You are kind to say so. Many consider our way of life foolish, and so and so it must seem to those yet who cling to those questions. In, su in times such as these, when everything can be taken away in an instant, it seems all too easy to lose sight on why we fight to go on living. It is not to hold fast the material things, but to hold those who went before us in our hearts. To keep alive the legacy they have left us. This is what we must do. This this we must do for them, our children, those before. To keep their legacy alive. Oh, right. Okay, I see. She feels that way because she she's a minphilia. Like yeah, all the others. I mean, sort of like took her over and gave her light powers. Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't realize until she looked sad. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Oh! <laughs> Bro, I can't escape these fucking ads. Even when I'm in fucking Ratika Greatwood. <laughs> Need a free company? XP buffs and 30 million gil in giveaways. Sorry, buddy. Already a part of uh, Cherno's funky crew. The funkiest crew in town, have you heard? You done tending to the crops already? Yeah, we're done. Ooh. Very good. But it should not be long before your room is ready. Runar. In the woods. <sighs> Thin eaters. I fear they may have the touch. Uh oh. Where? In the groves of the southwest. For mercy, they have yet wandered to any closer to Slitherbow. Then we have no need to engage. Inform the guard that no one is to set foot outside the village until they have moved on. The cheese touch. <laughs> yeah. But, sir. What of Tadia's heartstone? It must be retrieved before the service. It's over there, isn't it? Oh, that's who the Sin Eater is. Oh, no. Are you just going to leave them alone? From all circumstances, we will not hesitate to strike the beast down. But they indeed have the touch, I'll not risk them corrupting one of them. What was that you said about a stone? Is past Tadia, a child of the night blessed, was saint was slain by the sin eaters. We succeeded in retrieving her body, but in our haste we failed to notice her necklace was gone. But you guys got the body, it's not her as a sin eater. Strung to it was a pendant of jade, her heart stone. All of Night's Blessed was given such a stone at birth. It is the most valuable possession one can own. 
It is a custom to present the heartstone of the deceased at their funeral as an offering to the heavens, but now. Is that way you're all wearing like necklaces or something? Let's go get it. What if what if I could find it for you? Yeah. Let's go get it. I have experience in fighting sin eaters, and the light's corruption does not touch me like touch me like it does others. Master Matoya called you Minfilia, did he not? Are you truly the Minfilia? Descendant from the Oracle? Very same. Even so, I dare not ask you to risk your life for the blessed. I understand how you feel, but I can't stand by knowing that your people are in need of help and I can help. Please, let me do this. Very well, but if the danger proves too great, you must retreat. I could never forgive myself if we were forced to hold a second service. I nearly forgot about Thancred. What if he returns before I do? Anchor doesn't need to know. Plus, I'm going to be coming with you anyways. Duh. Let's hurry then before he returns. Go swiftly. May the shadows keep you both. So while she runs off, I'm gonna get on my motorbike. This the exit? This water hole. How the fuck do you get out of here? Oh, there. The big old cave A big hole in the wall. What? What is this? I can't go through there. <laughs> oh no. Pick your map. Oh, it might be this one. Yeah, it's the one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, um, um. Oh, we gotta go. Alright. You said everyone everyone heard this song, and they thought it was hilarious, so they they trolled it. No, uh, so uh, let me see if I find the clip. There, the sin eaters. Whoosh! Ah, it's one of these. It's two of them. I was hoping there'd only be one. No way we can search for the stone without dealing with them first. I'll take them on. Here he is. I'll watch him in a second. Yeah. It was during the uh What? Shouldn't we make a plan uh, first? Oh, there's only two. I'll draw one of them away, you can deal with the other. Guys, none the wiser of what just happened. so sick you saw what I just did to that guy <laughs> nah bro I'm I'm very impressed by myself right that oh shit she actually took it down you okay you good oh. 
Good done, though. I feel let's be careless. I promise you. I'll do better next time, I promise. Mm. I'm fine. You need to worry about me. But more importantly, we have to find that heartstone. They said it was made of jade, right? I'll search over there in the brush. Search for the heartstone. Well, it's bound to be around here somewhere. And there it is. Oh, I just gotta check these leaves, I guess. Like, there's other spots it could be in. Nope. Just about where the... Man's ends. We just gotta look around. Yep, look around the exterior, then go in. There it is. I'm filling it back. To where I found her last time. Oh, she's crossed the way. Who's that? Ohio. <clears throat> we found it. Yeah, it has to. You know, Thancred always said you're a man of many talents, and I'm beginning to understand what he meant. I have much to learn if I'm even to be half the hero you are. The hero she was. I'm sorry, I forget I said anything. We should hurry back to Slitherbow. Renard and the others are probably worried. You got me fucked up, you think I'm walking all the way back? Hello? Thank goodness you're safe. I've begun to feel the worse. Here's your heart, here's your stone. I almost said heart stone. And all that is dark, you found it. We can proceed with our service as planned. These blessed gems serve not only to protect us in life, but to guide our spirits into the sunless sea in the hereafter. Even should we be felled by the Sin Eaters, as long as these gems are recovered, our souls can be ensured peace in the dark. Words fail to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for the blessed. I must insist that you and your friend attend Tadia's service as honored guests. There's still much that we that we must do to prepare. But please go and inform the others that it will be held in the darker. When you arrive, there should be an attendant to explain the proceedings. Oh. Uh-oh, Thancred's back. Rancharo and I learned so much about the Knights Blessed while you were away. And we helped them recover a lost heirloom out in the woods. I know I wasn't supposed to leave, but they really needed our help, and there were sin eaters in. As long as he accompanied you. But do try to be more careful. Your injuries could have been a lot worse. Uh, how did you... Let's just say a little bird told me. And they're telling me now that Rintaro has business with us. Alright, buddy. You can't be funny. What's the matter? The have to attend the service? Of course we'll go. It's being held in the darker, is it? We'll take care not to be late, I promise. This way. Is this darker? Yep, okay. Close that map. Oh wow, actually it was quite dark in here. Oh, Illuminated by a bunch of candles. Elderly woman hands you, hands you a candle that she points over to a new, nearby corner where you might place it. Honored guests, my ass. They got me setting up the service, too. And it's the destination.
It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? All right. Up you. Is the Hearthstone? Let us begin. I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Mithun. Ah, Let they use her real name in the darker. Moment to offer her our prayers. What do they do with the art stone? We entrust her now to the night's sweet embrace. In darkness, will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore? Okay. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts. Presents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. It's like a night sky. Yep, because they uh, worship the night and all that. It's cool. That's why they're called the uh, Knights of Lust. That's I, I like this. This is really nice and thematic and cool. And it makes sense that you worship, you know, night in the dark with uh, the entire world being taken over by light and uh, quote-unquote daytime. Yeah. That's where it all Leave pretty much sprang from. Post-Calamity and all upon you, O warrior of darkness, to deliver her unto paradise everlasting. They're asking for me to bring her? I can't do that. They don't know that I'm actually... The warrior of darkness is right here. Guys? How would everyone react if they found out that I was the warrior of darkness? Uh, I'm pretty sure it ends up happening. Especially when you end up bringing the actual night sky back. Which, that is interesting. Once you actually, you know, defeat the light warden here. I mean, I imagine I would restore their knights. For the service. On behalf and most of, the blessed, of them you have probably haven't even actually plans. seen the true night sky. A lot of these people lived and died. The enduring legend of the warrior of darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And that. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. You didn't want this one? Like, what happened? Ooh. I would have liked to have met her. Hmm. Okay. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. Their prayers would finally be answered. They could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. 
We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? Ow. Forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost. I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Yeah, that's what we do. Mayhap sooner than later, in fact. Orionje and I have finished deciphering the tablet, and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss. USB-C. It looks it looks like it isn't. There should be some lights on the side, other side. It, take the, it takes a while to charge. Good, you're here. Now to the X Arch's gift. The next course of action is now clear. But you found out who it was from. Let me begin by first explaining the origins of the tablet. Gotta be a true gamer. Gamer boy in red lights for your motorcycle, Lamau. Bruh. Did you believe this was the history of the Church of the First Light? Yeah. Dates back to the Ronkin Empire and was likely, likely written in the direction of the Reigning River. There was a time of strife and unceasing war with neighboring nations. Each passing day, they yielded more and more territory to their enemies. In their desperation, petitions were sent out to aid their allies. This was one such petition. Do you think this ancient petition will somehow help us get to Aja? Did we do? For etching the tablet is a method by one which may one may prove himself an ally of the Ronkin Empire. Provided that we are able to decipher said instructions, we may entreat the ruins protectors to grant us safe passage. The problem is, however, I presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entire entirety. But we have one resource. There exists a stone monument inscribed with the ancient Ronkin text and, and translations uh, into, a mo into a more modern dialect which came to use with the fall of the Empire. I'm confident it will suit with our purposes. Where can we find this monument? Here in Scythia. It's quite close to Slitherbow, in fact. Good news ends here, however, for the, for the possession of a rather... Radical faction of dark worshippers, illusion of the everlasting dark. If I find the study the monument, I must infiltrate the encampment. I have no intention of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will nevertheless require some time to transcribe the text I need. To ensure that I will have enough, I'm afraid I must ask you and thank you. Gonna be putting some people to people the pound town. Before you even ask, the answer is no. If we are to remain unseen, our group must be in, uh, as small as possible. Damn. All right, I'll stay here and wait for your return. It won't be long. If, any, if anything should happen, you keep her safe. Damn. You wanted to go. Don't let us, be, let, don't let us convene outside. What's the slither bow? The encampment we seek is to the north, but it would be so foolish to simply rush in. The guard has been posted at the, at the cleric to keep watch over the children. 
Perhaps he has ought to share of the recent activity. We must tread carefully. There's a chance we may encounter them along the way. Stay close and alert. I would avoid a confrontation if possible. They rejoice in dealing death onto others, claiming that in doing so that they cleanse the, their victims of sin and usher them to the sun sea. I would rather not sully my hands defending myself from such madmen. Damn. You just kill people. Involve them of their sins. Is that a djinn? Shouldn't have. Give me that. There, speak of. Blessed Watchman. I helped them. <laughs> I bust dark. Thank goodness you are unharmed. We would have arrived sooner. Uh, but we too had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. You are an acquaintance of Master Matoya then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought I'd take a closer look. Careless. Strange, what have you seen? At first, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary, the usual gathering of ingredients for poisons from flora and fauna. But then I took notice of the venomous spiders. They've been breeding them in much greater numbers. Perhaps it's as if they're preparing for something. Any ideas as to what? It could be anything, really. If it meant the end of the blessing, nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. But perhaps we can use the present preoccupation with spiders to our advantage. If we were to introduce a threat to the nest where they keep them, the children would be, compiled, would be compelled to save them. Bees, for example, are a natural predator of spiders. Should we set them loose on the nest, we would have, to, we would have our opportunity to sneak onto the, into their encampment. What a mischievous plan. I like it. If there's smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies with long enough to save their hives. Did you have anything that we might be able to make use? We should have smoke bombs in the outpost over so over there, and it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and then search out for beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to your visit, but once they're knocked out, take the beehives and bring them back here. Two will suffice, I should think. Okay. So, basically unleashing, I mean, it's all the same ecosystem, but you know what I mean. Taking bees and we're throwing them where they should not be. No pun intended. We need smoke bombs. We need smoke bomb on the beehive. I imagine they're not gonna be too happy when I first see them. Wild swine. I gotta look. That is. Holy shit! Holy shit! Those guys are terrifying! They're not worth it. I'm not gonna have no mercy window, you two. Give me 
that. I saw that guy do that thing where he would like, in the middle of his combo, he would stun them. Is that something I gotta, I, I might have to add that to my rotations. Which, uh... Just stun the roll action. I mean, more honestly, that's... It's better used to try and stop something from casting a certain ability. True. And then also, it doesn't work on bosses. Of course. Did it again. The one enemy or multiple? One enemy. From one tank to another, I thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. And then he leaves on Unicorn. This, what, what, what a day this has been. And then he just leaves on Unicorn. The guard returns to Scythabao, but not before offering his thing. As for the Beehive, thank her that were successful in acquiring weed How did you fare? A buzzing burlap sack. They are not happy. This is more than enough. The children are certain to be displeased. Let us hurry before the bees begin to stir. What is that? Is that a smaller car? The Chosen Settlement is to the west. This is what is called the Woven Oath. According to the guard, there's an airway part in the entrance that would lead to the spider's nest. Fates are kind, the way will be clear. Back to where he's going. Yo, Unicorn Bro, the tankiest ride ever. True. Are those bombs? Oh, the tomatoes. There, there's an airway. Do you see it? Ah, I do see it. Took me a second. A bit far, perhaps, but we should be able to toss the back through. So we should probably loosen the ropes, keeping it closed. So... Enough that it falls open when it lands inside. Can I do the honors? You guys also get beehives? Or did I give the beehives to your stolen, and then you give them the thank credit? That should do it. Now we wait. What is that? <laughs> Bees! <laughs> By the abyss, they're everywhere! <laughs> help! Someone help! We have to save the spiders! It's like, not the bees! Not the bees! <laughs> Still, it's quite like not all, all, not all of them were drawn away from their post. You should come to blows with the children. I'll see to it any signs of struggle or conceal. Given that, I'll create a distraction to, drop, to buy your soul some time. Did anyone get past me? It falls to you to guard her. Your concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. I like the feeling that you enjoyed the deal of my loafing about board in the shadows. Come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. Now, you both are ready? Me and the boys. Me and the boys at the beck and, w at the beck and whim of a beautiful lady. Just how it, it's just how it goes sometimes. What is this? There's a tomato thing again. Those are always is vampire cup. This that's a vampire vine. What is everything here, bro? Welcome. Ah, doomsayer. To the jungle. Me. Okay. Hey guys, sure you guys are friendly, right, guys? Yeah, not all of you would be. I'm just gonna run past you though.
That's just wording. That wouldn't connect for the life of it. Up this way. And now we just hug the wall. Big way around him. Walk past. Nice. The font of seeing suggests that this is a chamber for prayer. At the very least, they would not place us near such a potential distraction from their worship. Perhaps the monument is further in. Second thought, we might examine the mirrors on these walls while I look over. Is it going to tell the story? I can tell that they're old, predating the founding of the blessed and the children. We're not, we're not like to come here a second time to the hoop assault to learn all. Give the murals and take notes. There's three. Start off with this one. This mural appears to be ancient. A warrior in the middle stands triumphant over what appears to be a creature's shadow. Other figures surround the warrior rejoicing in their joy. It's just a bunch of people. This mirror appears to be very old. A Suru sits atop the top throne, attended by their subjects. This mirror appears to be fairly old. A knight shields himself and their comrades from the encroaching darkness. The central figure is considerably faded. Ah! It's the Warriors of Darkness. Well, you know, it's it's Ardbert's game. You can tell from the little lot of fell in the guy with the big hat. Lollafell, my friend, that is a dwarf. Oh yeah, my bad. Forget there are uh, something world. different here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't imagine how long ago this was done. These paintings, they seem familiar. Depictions of heroes throughout history. Fair enough, the yeah. Gods, the Empire of Ronka. Hmm? And this than you. That's you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's you, man. There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had a good heart. Hmm. He believed this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka, who was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned, commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself. <laughs> I had a good laugh at that. <laughs> we were only trying to make our way, after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds.
But it seems he actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Ooh. Rather faded, isn't it? Compared to the others. But did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Yeah, maybe. Do you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Good. Or some other kind of monument? There you are. I have everything Ooh. I need. Let us quit this place. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. I guess we're going. I was just talking to Ardbert. Leave? Yeah, he left. I believe now I have everything I need to finish serving the tablet. Come on, Rintaro. Did the mural appear to be of any of any significance? Fictions of heroes. From the age of gods, the Runkan Empire, and immediately before the flood. Very astute observations. Perhaps in another lifetime you could be a curator of antiquities. Though it has no bearing on the task at hand. Perhaps that knowledge may have may be proved to be of use in the future. Let us hurry to slither bow, the others are waiting. After we've returned, the two of you should rest for a while. No doubt Runar will be eager to have to have you sample his cooking. As soon as I recover, discover anything of import, you'll be the first to know. Unwanted proposal. Where does that put us? Not so far away. What quest chain is it? 75? Wow. Antaro, the guards told me that you left the Master Matoya to the, wo to the Woven Oath. And no sooner do you return, she locks her away in her chamber without so much as the word. She knows how I worry when she leaves without telling me. <sighs> she is safe, and that is all that matters. You must be hungry after such a journey. Why not have a seat there by the fire? Stew, stew will soon be ready. Why not? Strange. What's so strange? The others on patrol should have returned by now. Our food will be overcooked if we wait any longer. Uh oh. We will just have to start without them. Would you call Master Matoya and the others? Sound good. Why do you pretend you cannot see it? What happened? The blessing may spare him the fate of becoming a light warden. But you cannot be blind to the nascent corruption. He is not as he was in the source. What?
Though I have no proof, I fear that the light which poured forth from the wardens was not negated at all. What? I fear it was absorbed, that he yeah. has been suffused with their light. But I've exposed it. I shot it up into the sky. No, it's been filling with inside you. You you, you just used the power to thought to this possibility. You're in the sky. I dare not speak until more is known. That's not good. So, and shit just goes into you and is filling up. Who's a hungry, hungry caterpillar? Like a balloon. By the time you deign to enlighten us, it may be and too what late. happens when if you overfill a balloon? Ops. I wonder what's going to happen to me. Orianger, I know full well, after all these years, that you have only the best of intentions. But that does not make it any easier to put my faith in a man so infatuated with secrecy. Yeah. I have had my suspicions Wrong ever choice, since the Exarch bade you speak that day. You, I mean, but it's but it's def ask. it's definitely you you can't you gotta admit it's definitely fair. The eighth umbral calamity. Arguable, followed, considering he's the only motherfucker who's actually been uh, helpful this entire time. Did he's been you? nice, but he he's also kind of like lying to us every now and again. Yeah, your Stola is uh, also all about fucking secrecy help! when it comes Someone to shit. Help! Also fair. But I've come to know her much longer. I've spent I've spent about like what damn near three expansions with her now. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the war, I gotta see what happens. If only Flopper were here to see. about to happen here they display them they bow out yep lord four three how good it is to see you how long has it been not since your inauguration unless i'm mistaken too long at any rate may i say how humbled i am to be invited not only into your city but your home you are as generous as ever oh nice uh, yeah, keep 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 and you as disingenuous. Ah, uh, I thought I thought it worked. The pleasantries. This merry band of not. dissidents, people are calling you warriors of darkness. They have slain sin eaters, and by all a accounts, large the and mature baby. What do you expect? And now I hear reports of your people obstructing my soldiers. So I must ask, what exactly do you? think you are doing I might ask you the same thing it should be clear even to you that defeating the light wardens represents the world's only hope of survival even now the people of Lakeland and Ilmeg rejoice in the return of night for a hundred years they yearned for a means to fight back against the sin eaters and at last they have found one yet you choose to stand idly by and do nothing why? 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 Because this hope you cling to is nothing more than a fever dream, an exercise in futility. Even should you slay the Sin Eaters, the world as we know it is beyond salvation. With what little land and resources remain, the people would be free only to starve. Before long, they would turn to violence, then to war, and ultimately usher themselves unto oblivion. They require a firm hand to shepherd them from the edge. The hand of a king. <sighs> Nay, a god. a god. You're not a god, bro. I will see their dreams fulfilled, their wishes granted. I will give them peace. Order, and they shall never want for bliss. Men are fickle creatures who entertain vague ideals without the faintest notion what they cost. But a little fear can go a long way towards him. 
helping them realize what it is they truly need. Oh, look at that. Sanctuary. And they shall find none in this world save that which I afford them. That is why the Sin Eaters exist. To unite the world under my dominion. A paradise fit to grace the Eighth Umbral Era. What was that? A minor epiphany, nothing more. You have always held sway over those around you. Those who defy you must submit or die. What sits before me is the inevitable result of bloated privilege and unchecked power. Uh-oh. But man is more resilient than you think. His achievements are not the product of violence and bloodshed, but compassion and understanding. Ooh. This calamity is but another crisis to be overcome. And we will once we eliminate the Sin Eaters. Poor deluded fool. These people care not for the morrow. They care only for the now. And the contentment they lack. What good is a paradise to them if it is a thousand years in the making? Or even a hundred? Impressed in the present. Your full friend. They see further than you think. I have beheld it in the blood and sweat and tears of those who would sacrifice everything for a future they may never know. That their children may never know. I have beheld it in the hopes and dreams of those who came before, which we bequeath to those who come after, that yeah. they might in turn build upon the foundations laid by our forebears. These are the bonds which hold man and his world together not your gilded chains, and I will resist your every effort to shackle him. In summary, you will continue to support the villains hunting my Sin Eaters? With tremendous enthusiasm, for I have faith in the future they would build. Yeah. Why do I even bother? Fools, the lot of you. So naive, so painfully predictable. Did you imagine I did not know your mind? That I would wait until after this meeting to dispatch my forces? Even as we speak, they march to the Sin Eater's defense. Okay. Insurrection will not be tolerated. The people of this world are mine to rule, mine to command. And you are no exception. A shade. <laughs> he he pulled the same trick that that Emmett Soap did. Oh, baby rage, hey, baby rage. Here we go. There it is. I mean, hey, if this meeting has a very he high probably, chance of hey, them attacking hey, he, to try and kill you, why go there? He probably so, casted it the moment he the moment he did his little baton thing. Oh, they're already here. Uh, he, he he just sent a fucking mirror image, effectively. Speak for the night's blessed. I do. I presume that is your doing. He killed him. If you'll come to parley, I must insist that you first return him to us. You're in no position to make demands. All right, bro. This has gone bad. My Lord Vorsary's decree, Man, if they just let us, the warrior fly out there, suddenly uh, this problem kind of disappears. 
true. It's this. true. Is that so? And the children of the everlasting dark have acquiesced to this madness. Have y'all joined up with them? We have reached an accord, yes. Oh my fucking god. The winners or die. Too many times that the was the accord. shunned you more's overtures of friendship. The risk that you harbor hostile intentions has grown too great to ignore. Therefore, his lordship has claimed dominion over this forest and bestowed executive authority upon the children of the everlasting dark. Oh, gee. In his wisdom, Lord Vorthry has agreed to recognize ours as the only permissible expression of dark worship. It's one true faith. You guys are phonies! You and your false creed are a blight on these woods. You guys are just phonies, bro. He intends to keep the light. He, he literally intends to keep the lights on. And you guys are supposed to be... No wonder the warrior of darkness visits both Lakeland and Ilmeg, yet shuns Raktika. Your perverted teachings hold blessed shadow at bay. He's an idiot. He's actually, he's actually so stupid. He's actually so, he doesn't even realize the irony. He doesn't even realize the irony. Darkness will never return to these skies while they hold sway. Ridiculous. Those of you minded to obey his lordship are to make for woven oath with all haste. We will leave you, but you may have time to prepare. Woven oath? Are you suggesting we abandon our fate to join those salads? What has your faith afforded you thus far? Nothing! We will guide you along the righteous path. And should we refuse? Anyone found here upon our return will be considered a traitor to you more and dealt with as such. By the hells. Discuss these developments after I have tended to our casualty. Killed the poor guy. Yeah, the pace is definitely picking up. Bard has been afflicted with a terrible and most efficacious ocean. Poison. We've attempted all manner of healing incantations, but alas, his condition remains in the king. At present, we can but slow down the poison in advance, but I pray we will afford us so we can find a cure. Look to the proof. Earth, the young guard. The poison spread throughout the system was long before it was brought here. At present, there's not what we can do but try to ease his pain. Is he cooked? No. Do not blame yourself, my friends. All that can be done has been done. Even if we had we reached him sooner, it would have made a little difference. The children employed countless poisons. Finding a suitable antidote is a nine possible task. What of the rest of the blessed? How many have taken the news of Yumor's generous proposition? With anger and dismay, we cannot hope to oppose both them and the children. I've considered the conversation of the Knights of Blessed, we might consider their ultimatum, but I know how they will answer. Master Matoya, I am truly sorry. We, we will not 
cannot abandon our faith. There is no reason for you to suffer for our decision. Your work is not yet done and you still have time to flee. Uh oh. I'm not, I'm not, I am not wont to run from my troubles. In fact, with Rintaro's arrival, I couldn't even read the rest of that because I was actually such a brain fart of a fucking sentence. <laughs> I am not wont. What? I hate this. Lay the creature, bring the darkness before the ultimatum is too late. Wordle. All of which is a task easier said than done, unless, of course, you finally decide with a tablet. I have, as a matter of fact. Uh, with it, we can prepare everything we need to enter uh, Yismaja. We'll say you all. We need that quickly, but I believe it can be done. We cannot deny our fate. We will slay for the night's blessed. Go. Good. I believe the blessed are in your capable hands, Renar. Very well. He's so sad about it. I see that there's no change in your mind. By all that is dark, I swear to keep the blessed safe. According to the tablet, we will, need, we will first need to obtain a seal to use to identify the, the allies of Ronka in times past. One seal should be waiting for us on a complex underwater room not far from here. You have some, some, you have some, some experience with subaquatic excursions, do you not? Heh. <laughs> Tell that to the Noth. Then this should prove a simple task for you. The ruins we seek are at the bottom of the lake of Tusi Mekta. While you see to that, Mephilia and I will remain here to help shore up Slytherbell's defensive. Your aid will be greatly appreciated. I gotta go take a swim. It's swimming time. Why is someone just spamming it's playtime in the fucking novice network chat? You're asking too many questions. 2,438 do days, answers. 22 hours, 1 minute. That minute actually makes me mad. Why? <laughs> what is he talking about? What is bro yapping about? This lake, huh? There you are. Ready for a swim? See what we seek. Should be stored in a chamber where somewhere, somewhere inside these ruins beneath the lake. However, the entrance is seemingly protected by a subtle looking locking mechanism rooted in the symbolism of Ronkin culture. Ronkin sought to live in harmony with nature and is considered certain to animals to be sacred. sacred. Foremost, their pantheon was the snake, portrayed as a protector of the wood, arbiter of life and death. Below it were four others each an equal rank. The Koro, the Colibri, the Opuo, the Wolf, characterized by the bringers of liberty, words, enlightenment, and harmony respectively. We open a chamber containing the seal, the, the, the tablet slates, uh, the tablet states that one must pay due difference to these, to, to, to three of these beasts by placing one palm on the monuments brought on their image, and thus that this must be done in a specific sequence. If my interpretations are correct, the order can be discerned from these three commandments which follow. Give, give praise to the snake, by strength do our lands prosper. Uh, be as the as the Opo Opo, rival thy kin, and as all parts seek betterment, so too does the whole. Be as the wolf, move as one, peace comes to all who seek harmony with their kin. That was said not of the placement, size, or appearance of the tablet of the monuments. Alas, hopefully they'll all become clear once you reach the bottom of the lake. So... Basically, think Opo Opo Wolf is what I'm coming to understand. Also, damn, I'm right here.
Yeah, I don't feel it'd be lower. Let's try palming the snake statue. Are they in different areas? Holy hells. Well, I gotta find the entrances to these places. What might this one be? Uh, I guess we're too high. Here, a crevice. Here, a hole. Boom. There's a coral. Whoa! I almost fucked that whole thing up. It's supposed to be the Oppo. Oppo. You said something stir or something elsewhere within the lake. Ah, you almost got me. That was close. It was only gonna be my fault if it did fuck me up. Ah. That looked very entrancey enough. That looks more entrancey. Oh, statue. What's over here? Libri, the wolf. Find a statue of a wolf. Now we can go back to the original ruin. For a second, I thought they weren't—they weren't gonna allow me to do the puzzle myself. I was like, damn. Door reveals a pedestal upon with pressing a medallion. You take it and secure it inside your cloak. Back to your stola. Five left in the stream. Find it? Yes, we did. The valley in the bears the owl and signal of the empire. There can be no doubt that it's the of Bronca. Well done, Rentaro. We can begin our preparation to enter Yixmaj in earnest. Bearing his this seal, it should be possible to enter Yixmaj unmolested by its guardians. I will go ahead to Slitherbow and inform the others. When you have recovered from your exertions, meet us, meet with us in the cavern leading east out of the village.
Or we can come in here. And this path is now open to us. Good, you're here. We're not open the gate before for us moments ago. Beyond lines just Madra, presumably and presumably the light warden. It did not take long for the woods protectors to find me when I last came here, and I expect them to fall upon us just as quickly last time. Though we carried the seal, there is no reason for us to let down our guard. Now let us seek out the warden and put an end to the rain of these people. We're in sacred, hallowed lands for the Empire of Runka. So, Yix Maja. Found us, I, I, I would more so say. Viera? You trespass upon sacred ground. Yep. Be gone. Is this right? This is the DLC that introduces them, isn't it? Yeah. All those Viera that are like, you know, the players are from these guys. Of course. Same with uh, Haraldgar. The Viera and the Source are from usually an area around Bosnia. Same with the Rodgar. Wait! We did not come to! Remember, they don't waste any time. What a dodge! Oh. They got that combat choreography. of the Empire of Ronka. As is customary, we come bearing the seal of the Emperor. Hmm. Holy shit. What the fu- <gasps> It's so fast! It appears to be genuine. Then perhaps there is yet hope. Perhaps. We acknowledge your seal, but we must be certain of its authenticity. Follow the Azure Flowers to our village. There we will judge if you are friend or foe. Try not to stray from the path. All right? Follow the flowers. Would it kill them to escort us? But if it affords us an opportunity to investigate Ixmaya, fine. Ix Ixmaya. So this tribe just exists here, chilling. Um. This leads in another direction. Under to what?
Hmm, there's no mistaking this to the crest of the royal family. It's, it's of proper size, and by its weight, it's plain that it's made of gold. This he is this deal is indeed genuine. For three thousand years, we have waited for this moment, and now you are finally here. I bid you welcome, allies of Ronka. I am Almet, chieftainess of Fainal. We met, your younger sister. We met. Pleasure. We began to lose hope that you would come. I beg your pardon? These are troubled times for my people. Though I can but imagine what has compelled you to venture into our woods. You must be tired after your journey. Come, take your ease. If you'd like, I'll show you about this village. I must warn you, it is a long way down to the forest floor, so do watch your step. Interesting. This way, um, what was your name? Antaro? This is a common name nowadays? How oh, times change. But I digress. Come, and be sure to watch, watch your step. We shall bust out the whip. I mean, hey, I gotta ask, if, 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 if the Ronka, if the people of Ronka have been closed off from society for 3,000 years, what are they doing with an Aetherite crystal? Pretty really gotta ask. Is it just here? For them? As bearers of the seal, you have the right to know what came to the Empire and my people's purpose here. Your descendants of the place guards from the last Emperor, and to this day we carry on the duty of our forebears. Found the grievous eminence for Ronka's fall. By wisdom of our people, the Ronka was made to thrive. Such knowledge must never be forgotten, nor, nor may it be suffered to fall into the hands of the wicked. Keep it secret, keep it safe, and look to coming to our allies. And to them you shall bequeath our all, and thus Ronka live on. By his command, we have remained in Ratika Greatwood, guardians of Ronka's ruins and the wisdom held within. I hope thou wilt not uh, think the question impertinent, but what did thy people's feigned longevity perchance play a part in the Emperor's decision to entrust his mission on thine? That was one reason, yes. We Vs uh, would easily live to see, like, three of your Elizin. How long do they live for? They were also the fiercest fighters, number to withstand. But our duty has grown ever more perilous in the wake of the flood. Settlements such as this one were plentiful for light claimed dominion over the land, but now. Then it was all that remains. How long did we know enough to honor the Emperor's wishes? You believe we are the allies from whom you have waited? You have the seal, do you not? Three millennia of waiting, that alone is nothing short of a miracle. Truth be told, I had begun to think you would never come. Sister. We are glad of your presence here in the Great Wood. The wisdom of Ronka is yours as you should wish it. Come and see, but I don't know where it makes its lair. Wait, wait, do you recall any sightings of this creature? Hmm. Huh. On the past 30 summers. 30? But that mean that would mean how old are you exactly? Young enough to remember. With age comes knowledge. There may be yet one who no among us who have seen or heard of the abomination used. We leave to speak with the other V's then. Of course.
to the residents of Fano. You appear to be on this level. There's a, there you are. Like hiding from me straight up. I'm not intending to deprive but your voice is carry far. I know what it is you ask of me. Fortunately, the answer is no. I've not seen the light warden. I patrol the ruins for the ragged regularly. If they were hiding nearby, I wouldn't know about it. Can't make my jump down there. Gotta come down and up again. Is this for the light warning? I cannot say I've ever laid eyes on it. We do need to get the ruins, nothing more. We need not strike out such a foe. Outsider, but how? But the gods, the allies of the Empire, my sincerest apologies for failing to note your arrival. It was the warder you wish to know about, yes? My mother, she may rest in peace, once told me of its appearance in these woods. Before settling here in Faino, she lived in the forest in a village near Ratika Falls until it was destroyed by Sin Eaters. While out on patrol one day, she spotted the storm of the abominations, one of which was different from the rest. It was larger for one thing, but what struck her was which fellows seemed to revere it. She was convinced that she had seen and what she had seen was the Light Warden. Major, that's actually a lot of information. Thank you. I'm guessing this last person probably won't have much information. Light Warden? No, I have not seen it. But I have witnessed the horrors of the Lesser Eaters. How they won't hunt in packs... Oh, they want to hunt in packs and carry up the victims rather than consuming them on the spot. I suspect the warden is a grotesque, corpulent thing, waiting patiently for its minions to bring its next meal. I pray the others were able to provide what I could not. Indeed. We're coming upon the last 30 minutes. You know, I think of falls? Why was I not told of this? I think I, think I see now why I've never been spotted on our patrols. I never heard of this Rectica Falls. I, could, I assume it lies deep within the woods of Mesh. Eh, I forgot how to pronounce it. Just so, but the tunnel which leads there is collapsed by a rather bloody battle with the Eaters. Not impassable for many years. We made several attempts to clear away the rubble, yet each time we were driven back. In the end, we were forced to give it up as lost. Thereby making it a suitable place for a warden to take sanctuary. There is perhaps one way to enter, though it would be a great peril to you. The Kitana Rabble, a temple to the northeast. It has been sealed for centuries, but within is a path that leads to the falls. Can it be opened? For the allies of Ronka, it can. First, we will go to the Kumul Astropolis. Once the flow of magic is restored there, where the path through Kitana Rabble can be opened. This may not sound like a this may sound like a simple task, but there are certain obstacles which prevent us from from attending it to ourselves, and we know not we know not how to overcome them. The emperors have never granted our forebears leave to look upon the secrets what we are charged with protecting. That we might not attempt it, which means uh, the means to do with, with our with health from us. We can show you the way, the rest will be up to you. This would seem like we have to work our work cut out for us then, shall we? Give it out to ask. Let us be about it then. That is your wish, it is my duty to escort you. 
While we attend to the matters in Kumul Astropolis, I would ask that your sisters accompany Oriange and Thancred and show them all that they can of these woods. While we have every intention of investigating Ratika Falls, tis yet possible the Light Warden dwells elsewhere. With that in mind, it would behoove us to prepare an alternative course of action. We met Simon. I leave them to you. Yes, sister. Should present, should present course prove false, I uh, doubt not that Thancred and I shall find any possible paths forward. The end is in sight. What you seek lies in the heart of, of Kumul Astropolis. Unfortunately, it was too shut, uh, sealed shut by order of his eminence. We are to open it, we must first look for the morning stars. Looks like you're in like the last little bit of a uh, last few quests. This series quest line. Yeah. Since we're getting so close, I may as well finish it off. Um, so but before we do that, I'm gonna go take a piss. That way I can actually, like... I, that, I, I just need to... Be, I just need to clear. <laughs> Bye, Blitter. So I may actually sit down and be able to complete the rest of this. You were able to keep it up. Were you able to keep up? I see. Well done. Ahead lie the Morning Stars. Four monuments built in tribute to the Guardians of Raktika. Beyond them is a great period of... I can't read that. Great pyramid. But the flow of magic must be restored. They said that the monuments themselves are keys to open up the pyramid. Though I not know how. <laughs> hey, that is for you to discover. But the puzzle. Wonderful. I would have a closer look. Um, I'm going to stop right here. For a second. And I'm going to go use the bathroom real quick. And we'll finish off this quest line tonight. Four o'clock be damned. Be right back. Oh my god, that was so well needed. Holy shit. <laughs> I felt the urge hour too. Alright, they got some puzzle they need solving. I think I think it's about to be very funny. Because they're talking about how blah 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 this puzzle, we don't know how to solve it because you know our emperor never let us uh, look at him. 
And so to solve them, it's going to be up to you guys because we literally don't know. But I think it'll be very funny. Divine Beast. Ancient inscriptions, the answer may will be hiding among them. Grab new and say new versus a day better. Oh Your transcription will prove impractical for you, or you're not being versed in the wrong conscription, no matter. You will employ a different approach. Impressions. Here. I thought that using these clay tablets to record any significant imagery we have discovered, they will serve you just as well. Take impressions of any inscriptions you find. You will start with the base of the pyramids, you will begin at the top. When we have finished, return here and I'll translate your findings. I was like, what? I was like, who just came here? No, it's just another lava fell from the first. Or from the fucking source. Please. Holy shit, I can. So let me inscribe this right here. Take an impression of the writing inscribed on the document. Probably be easier if I were to jump naturally. Because yeah, jumping mechanics on bikes proves not that. Take an impression of the writing scrap in the document. Holy. of another pyramid. Don't even think about it. I'm 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 feeding myself with Aurora, I'm climbing through the fucking mountains. Then I fucking fell. Alright bro. You've incurred my wrath. Of the writing and document, and now we have all the things we need. We just gotta go find. Hola. Except what you found. I 
nothing we saw at the base of the pyramids gave any hint of the solution of the puzzle. Focusing center on how to proceed the puzzle, how to proceed having solved it. Your findings, on the other hand, appear to form a riddle once stumbled to reads as follows. Come together, share despair, go thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call. Revert thy gaze, forever fall. Sequence for what? Using one statue with ether. Given your talent for finding solutions to vexatious problems, I think it's best that you choose a statue. Right then, after you have a statue, I'll imbue it with the required ether. Did you... Could it prove to be a trap? I am more capable of warding off any malignant magic it may contain. Now which statue it will be? I want to hear the riddle one more time. Come together, share despair, go thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, eat its call. What? Come together, share despair, go thy ways, thy burdens bear. Mark the crown, heat it fall, avert thy gaze, fall. Market's crown, heat its call. Would it not be the serpent? Is that too much of the obvious answer? Mistaken. Come together, share despair. O oh, thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call. Hurt thy gaze, forever fall. Gotta look at these things or something to understand what the fuck it is. Yeah, there is stuff on it. Oh, I see. These two creatures are facing away. So what are the ones facing together? Who's facing? Who's we'll facing? Come together, burdens bear. These two face each other.
gotta actually think about this fucking this fucking riddle. <laughs> Having a bit of trouble? A little bit. Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call, avert thy gaze, forever fall. Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call, avert thy gaze, forever fall. Wolf statue. Fuck it, the Opo Opo? I don't understand how this riddle's supposed to work. I'll just tell you, it has to do with the position of the statues. The way they're facing. Yeah, I see the only two that are facing Towards each other is the Opa Opo and the the Opa Opo and the fucking wolf. Those yeah, two are come facing together. together. Come yeah, together, they... share despair. So, I mean, come together, share despair. The incorrect ones. You can rule those two out. Oh, they come together. They share despair. Yep. What was the next part of the line? I'll read it here. Next one is Go thy way, dread burdens bear. Go thy way. Go thy ways, aka go separate ways. These guys are also going separate ways. And the next one is Mark the Crown, heed its call. I don't understand what that means at all. Mark the Crown. The crown would belong to the serpent, would it not? No. Mark the crown, heed its call. Would it be the owl? Right out. I already tried the owl. It burned me. I'll try it again, I guess. I don't know if I, I actually don't remember it entirely. Owl statue. I think we already did this. I'm almost 100% sure we, we already did this. Fuck. Ah, uh, yeah. Mark the crown, heed its call. It's the only one facing towards the actual door. And it's also the... It's also the only one... Animal. That's on the, on the actual amulet. Yep. Know the Ilmorans?
Yeah, so now they're gonna have us begging to complete this. Uh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to cut. We're gonna have to take down this light warden. Picasa to Pasa. Now this door is open. That guy's flying a board. Is that a hammerhead? Oh, that seems really difficult to get out of. Switch should be enough through these be through these doors. A confessional to possibly the elder, but why is it not open? Magic appears to be flowing through the walls, but it's being obstructed as it approaches the door. Missing the other owl. Strange indeed. The second section is likely hidden to keep cover more ground if we split up. I'm going to take the chamber to the south. Carl, the one to the east. I'll search the chamber to the west. One spot that I have not been to. These guys are trolling me. Jump down, holy shit. I was so close to jumping down too, dear god. <laughs> I've looked everywhere else and wait, that statue, you found it. It looks light enough, but we need to return to the other altar, no? One might assume so, but nothing else in this room has been quite so simple. I sense a strange energy emanating from the eyes of the statues and the corridors of the split. Could this figure me move? It would not surprise me if the parents are starting to start a life. Crap, then. For unsuspecting as they attempt to return this to the rightful place. Precisely. Caution would serve us well here. So I would ask you to deliver the statue to the main chamber. An absurd, an abundance of magic uh, yet course through these walls. For my eyes, distractingly so. Leave yours on the other hand would be more apt to perceive the traps for what they are. All right then. Yep. I have two minutes. And attacks of the enemies will sap my strength. How
Excuse me now. I have to lower the statue to its altar. The statue was returned, but was that enough? I believe it was. I can see the Aether flowing through the door now. I pray this means an end to the tricks and traps at the end of these ruins. Um, You are but one step from entering the Quitano Ravel. I must warn you, this is the last step, and without question, is the most perilous. Overcome this final trial, and the path forward will be open to you. A path laden with more puzzles and traps, I'm sure. Did the Emperor always take such pleasure in the wasting time of his allies? <sighs> Let's end this, Untaro. But our time as yet is yet still on our side. The Legend of the Not So Hidden Temple. Rory Hunter, I will tell you of the trial that awaits you. The chamber is said to be filled with a man of the device to keep trespassers away from the switch. Potent of words of displacement, they may very well force you into danger. Should we become separated, please use these. Whisper seeds. They will allow us to communicate no matter where we may find ourselves. I think Rintaro and I can look out on how to use these well enough. Thank you. Alright, Rintaro. The sooner we finish here, the sooner we can turn to the others. Okay, if it's over with, then of course it's a... Of course, it's a fucking solo, solo trial. Am I avoiding those soldiers as they walk? You see the sentence. Yeah. You get caught, you have to restart. Good. More stealth sections. What? A curse of Rob! Away with you! This is literally not even fair. I literally made it to the end. This ends now. I begin to question the point of view. How many stacks am I collecting? Dude, that was literally not even fair. I'm trying to keep moving. You coming back right now? No. Yeah, he walks back and forth, so we have to actually take it in. You guys can't traverse puzzles for nothing. Wow! A raid? A little I, I, a raid? Holy shit! Welcome! Hi! How do I pronounce that? I'm having a terrible time pronouncing things in a, what, for a lot today, honestly. It's all your Anjay's fault. Hello, welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Um, you know, my name is Reno. Uh, I'm, like, starting to get back into playing Final Fantasy XIV. And I've recently, um, in, have, have tried to commit myself into completing, um, all the MSQs before, before it's time to get into, um, Dawn Trail. Roxas. Roxas. Eh. 
Kingdom Hearts reference. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I kind of figured. Um, I'm just bad with <laughs> pronunciations right now. Burianje and his colorful words have been whisking me away to confusion. Oh, there's a lot of them. I hope you all. I'll, I hope you all been doing well though. I got a glamour to, to whip out here. You died? Oh, there's the okay. And there they go. Okay, gotta make dinner, but I will lurk a bit. No worries. Uh, what are you? What will you be having for dinner? How was your stream, by the way? That's not a protection device. This should end well. Whoa. Okay, I thought it was just... Okay. What is this? Auto heal penalty. What are all these penalties? Separate chambers, huh? Marked on the floor, I think that they show the way out. Like, It's just as I imagined. I was sent back to the entrance. I gotta learn about how I walk through. Can't hit the boot. Well, that was dangerous. We made it though. That's great. Yeah. Gotta make dinner, but I'll lurk a bit. Freeze. I really do. Is this? It's so Indiana Jones right now. Here we go. Oh my God. Well, time to run. We move. <gasps> With another one. Close call. Go 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 go. Dude, we're dead ass playing. It's just like Indiana Jones. Oh, we're reaching the end. Getting crash. Got the jump. Whoop! Water. Jesus, made it. Fear that too fast for all. We gotta be quicker. Be careful the traps inside. We're nearly there. Nearly gonna make it. It doesn't hurt for anyone to outpace these. What is this? Oh, it's Ranjit. Yeah, it's gonna be Ranjit. Of course, it's Ranjit. I imagine one more buff, and it would have been curtains for me. Yeah. Yes, the buff. I guess that was the point of the first chamber. That's part of the first. That, that was part of the purpose of the first chamber. Give me all these buffs so that if I messed up one more time. What? Oh, son. I just say focus run here. What? I just say focus run here. Fair enough. 
If AOE shoots you like a, what, three or more, I don't know if it's an EPS boss. Mm, no, I've, I've actually, I've, I've took a bit, little bit of research. Even if there's one other per, even if there's one other person, uh, the DPS loss comes from um, doing a single target. Not really. If you focus, if the party focuses down one, it goes the other end faster. Trust me on this. If you get a bulk approach you with uh, one or two AV rooms, then you focus one down and focus the other down. They're going down, no. Save them. Have this. They're gonna hold us off for us. Are these things? I'm holding them off. It seems to be working. Oh shit. Ain't no way he gets through. Oh, no, no. General, hold on. Yeah, it's kookly corny little private. And he stepped on a trap. Come on, dude. Man, leave it to them. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is this the classic? I'm so certain to believe it's going to be the classic sort of like... Well, we're trapped here together, so we may as well work together to get out. It so is. Expertly done. How was I to know that that would happen? It looked like any other part of the floor. It did not. Do not cap. I saw that cutscene. Yeah, it's very far down. You don't want to fall down there. Might now be an opportune time to strike a bargain? It would be. You're right. We poisoned a number of villages in Slitherbow with a toxin brewed for us by the children. Why would you tell me that already? Get this it. is the antidote. I dare say you know how potent their concoctions are and the futility of trying to counteract their effects. What else? Now, now. Try anything here, and we're all likely to fall. Eventually, someone will come to our rescue. Or yours. Promise us safe passage, and we'll give you the antidote. Do we have a deal? We do not negotiate with the enemy. The villagers' lives are forfeit. As is yours. What? <gasps> Whoa! Throws it back at me. What the fuck? Do not fail. What? No, bro. Are you serious? How noble.
Are you serious? No way. They tried to kill her three times. Don't tell me it worked this time. Is is everyone all right? No. Watch your watch your step. What? In the... Orioge, at once. Oh shit. Fucking hit him with the rescue. Hit him with the rescue, pulled him down into the hole, and then slashed clean through him. Dude, he has to be dead. Who am I kidding? I don't see a corpse for all three of these guys at all. Where is Ustola? He I don't want to be the one to break the news, but it's only me who knows it. Gave this to me. And sacrificed herself. My god. I can't believe it. It's so sad. Hells, man. Are we? Is she seriously dead? No, she can't be. Because Ryan G is also down there. Thankfully, Ranjit's cohorts has a good sense to fall back. But from Fenno, we should hold our position here till they arrive. Painting? Got paint? Amit, mean, please tell me you know what if that hole leads us to the woods somewhere. Oh, if there was another means of exiting the temple, there is no question that we would know it. I fear that it is of little consequence when we tried to mark the depth of the pit. Failed. To fall from such a height? Yes, sir, I come bearing news. More soldiers have, and the children have fled from the magic. They've been. Give them the end of it. Give it here. Yeah, I have this. We're right to believe that the order, their order was lost, found lost. Treatment. Give him the. Yeah, I have it. Give it. Must act quickly. You've a spare vial. Minfili and I could deliver it to the blessed asleep. You and Rangers to return to the Fano and tend to the wounded villagers. Here. Take that and treat treat the poisoned. What about you, Stola? It would seem cause of us to leave, but she left in that hole for a reason. We have to save the blessed, whatever it takes. Alright. My sisters and I will remain here. We must be certain that no soldiers are still lurking about. Come, Rintar, let, let, let not your stolen sacrifice be aimed. So you couldn't, you couldn't kill her in the source, so you go to kill her off in the fucking first, huh? Is that what this is? Evil. This is evil, evil, evil. All right, we're close to finishing off this quest chunk. I think it might. I think it will definitely take us to. Uh, it will most definitely take us to maybe one end. It'll probably take us to one end. I can't just. I can't just leave it after what I just witnessed. I have to finish this area. I have to. Heavens for Fend. Was he who forestalled the Omoran's procession, and in doings and, and in so doing, ordered the time to traverse the temple? Quickly, the antidotes. Here. This. Uh. 
better have another dose. Renard feels visibly pain. Perhaps he requires another dose. Dear God, you need you, you want the whole bottle? There's more of you. The medicine seems to take, take effect as the culture slowly seeps back into his chest. Oh, thank God he's back. It appears that the worst has passed and his wounds have yet once been approved. I shall minister him forthwith. I'll take the Rest, uh, rest for Taro, I prithee. I shall attend to Runar's misinformation. Ah, bro. There's no way Ranji just dies right there, so definitely that hole is a fluke. But also, damn. Grabbed it and grabbed it. Do not jump, fail. Jump. Damn it! <laughs> Runa, thank goodness. He's gonna be okay. We delivered the antidote to Slitherbow, and from what we could gather on the way here, the Ulmorans have had the good manners to withdraw. Thank the gods they did. We would never have made it here in time. I'm told we have Runar and his comrades to thank for keeping the soldiers occupied prior to their retreat. They were preparing to come for you and Yishtola, it seems, when Runar rallied the villagers and pursued them out of Slitherbow. Yixmaya. There it is. Yixmaya. Maya. I gotta say it more so I can have to pray. Rest thee a while longer. Yixmaya. Maya. No. No, I am all right. Somewhat heavy of limb, perhaps, but otherwise well, I assure you. I am glad to see you are all safe. When we realized where the soldiers were headed, we knew something had to be done. Such a valiant sacrifice. Do not see Master Matoya. She was with you, yes? What happened Ooh. to her? I... <sighs> Sorry. I cannot say for certain, but it was she who secured the end. I also don't fully believe that she's dead. I want to anyways. Welcome back, Moss. Spare me your riddles and speak plain. Where is Master Matoya? Ah. Jumped into the hole. You jumped into the hole because the antidote was falling through there. If it weren't for her, you'd be dead. Yes. No. No. No, that cannot be. Why would she do such a thing? Bless. Was there no other way? I... I cannot believe that she... That she... I'd want to believe more that she would... I... We must begin the search immediately. I will come with you. Hello. Back, welcome back. What are you waiting for? We must find her. She could be trapped, or hurt, or... She is alive, damn you! Damn it. He's crying, no! No! Oh. 
Oh. Forgive me for interrupting, but our scouts have apprehended an intruder. What'd they get? I <laughs> thought perhaps he might be an associate of yours. An associate of ours? Who is it? I fucking get Is it Emmett Selk again? What is Here he, he do? Is. What do you want, bro? Oh, look who it is. <laughs> Oh, what, what do you want, well, man? Wow, this is embarrassing. In my defense, they are surprisingly tenacious. They're quite good at what they do. It looks like he so, let them well, catch him because he thought it would be entertaining. Into this time? Not bored of watching from the dark, buddy? This is actually so sad. I hate it so much. Well, well. What an intriguing turn of events. My condolences, by the way. It is never easy to lose the ones we love. Well, she is dead, isn't she? Wishing it were otherwise will not make it so. Oh, thank you, bro. That you should be indifferent to her loss is no surprise. To us, she was a friend. The best of friends. Nah, bro, they've tried to kill her off so many times, man. What was that? Yeah, what was that gust? She couldn't- surely she's not dead. You have something on your mind. What is it? I saw a gust of wind. When she fell, there was a powerful gust of wind as if from nowhere. She had to have done something. Pray recount to us again that which thou witnessed in the ruins, omitting not the slightest detail. Oh, you no, know, like, dude, like, pressed the button, crashed out the whole fucking floor, and then, like, tried to cut us a deal. Ranjit fucking kicked him over, and Stola jumped in. And then there was a gust of wind. Teleportation magic she used to spirit us away from Uldar after the bloody banquet. I recall a similar gale in the tunnel before it took effect. Oh! All that time back. All that time back in. I thought I sensed a brief disturbance in the live stream. How reassuring to know it was not my imagination. You didn't tell me that she jumped back into the Aether, Aether Sea that she did last yep. time? The exact same spell. So do we just summon her back? Which would suggest she is still adrift on its currents. I told you, it's, it, you can't kill this lady, bro. Then I fear she may yet be lost to us. For it was only by the grace of the elementals that she was plucked from that great ethereal river. Where's the elemental? Ah, uh, I guess you're right. So we can't just, we can't sewn her back this time? Ah, oh, very well. I'll go and fetch her. Excuse me? What do you mean? Perhaps a clear and unambiguous act of kindness will serve to win the trust you seem so determined to deny me. And so... He's being weird again, bro. He's like, bro... Ah, if, if... I know he's doing this to try to win our trust, but if he's... If, maybe we'll lamp of my own design. Even as close to you as you venture out the woods, the brighter the glow, the stronger the location is resident to the light stream. If you find a light spot, all you need to do is whistle. You know how to whistle, don't you, hero? Put your lips together and blow. Thanks, buddy. There's no way he just gave me the means to bring back my friend.
kind of sad because I also now understand that either that guy was also taken up in the Aetherite Sea or he just got cooked. Eh. He was Ranjit's uh, right hand man, so. I'm gonna assume this guy standing right here has a reason to be standing right here. Not much is lost. That's yeah. hilarious. Thanks, bro. <laughs> He's just here enjoying a cutscene. jump back into the goddamn I imagine because of the betrayal he's gonna pull out what color was her soul again yeah, he's gonna bring him up by accident or some shit don't be don't troll go get her Snap. <laughs> you know that emote I use? Yes. Is that why is that yeah. why you is that why is this the inspiration for it? Yeah, that emote is literally his snap. Probably brought back both Yastola and the and the general guy. Or is it just Yastola? Oh wait, she's gonna be naked again. Yep. Is Yeah, there's the emote. And there's the clothes. Yeah, him raising his hand and going for the snap is yep. the exact emote. That's kind of good. Same sound effect, too. Yep, exactly. I saw it. And then he even, he even did the class swap. Ishtola, are you alright? Imagine how. What happened? This oh. Thou didst invoke the power of flow, which thence did usher thy soul unto the life stream. And creep up behind us, but you bet. The antidote, and after that. <laughs> I did something exceedingly reckless. For which you will just have to forgive me. Ah, Master Matoya. Oh, thank the heavens, you're all right. Ah, it's sweet. I had nearly given up hope. Please, Renard, dry your tears. What would the others think if they saw you like this? Come now. Did you really think I would go gently into that dark night with so much left undone? So many mysteries left unsolved. Back off, buddy. <laughs> Holy shit. It's so sweet.
Is there aught you wish to say to me? <laughs> a word of thanks? This guy, th this guy, I, I, I genuinely believe this guy has no idea about social cues. I just don't think he cares. Emmet Selk, the Asian of whom I That's spoke. That's probably the truth. He just does not he care. Who plucked thee from the live stream? I see. Yeah, you got plucked out Thank of the you. live stream. Differences notwithstanding, you saved my life, and for that I am grateful. <laughs> but let us turn our attention to more important matters, such as the Katana Rattle. You had better not have explored its depths without me. I haven't. Heavens no, in fact, I was awaiting your return. We a little funny. Well, Almas and the others should be pleased to see you in such uncharacteristically high spirits. Let us return to Fanoff then and discuss the coming expedition. It's just me and you, Astian. Have you yet? What a touching reunion that was. It was fair. It, it fair brought a tear to my eye. As we both know, such tender moments are nothing if not momentary. Before long, they will remember their many differences and return to wobbling. That's the archbringer of chaos. You're wrong. They're better than that. This guy is like the equivalent of the happy chaos, bro. And I kind of like him for it. Oh, if I had a guild for everything, I'm going to hurt one of you heroes and make that <laughs> But seriously, we ask things to do what we do for the greater good. For the meaning. That we may sow seeds of chaos in this man who tends them. Who will reach their bountiful harvest. I grow tired of these arguments. You would kindly refrain from retorting and return to your customary brooding silence. I'll take this thanks for rescuing your companion leader. Now, we mustn't keep the friends waiting. Here. Off we go. I'm just gonna jump up there. Literal next quest. Two quests away. Good luck. Two quests away and I have a healer I don't trust. No, one. Well, I, mean, I, I was just, my, my bad. I was included. So I, was I mean, this one's pretty much of this, done. Yeah, the completion of this one and then the, the next one afterwards. No, the next one is literally the very next dungeon. It goes this and then Burden of Knowledge, which is the uh, dungeon quest. My apologies for having put you all through such an ordeal. You know, other way to have to save the Knights Blessed. Happily, both I and yet, both they and I yet live. Thanks to you. Our work here is not yet done. We must make ready to enter the Quartana Ravel Light Warden's Perfection. Having hearkened to their tale, to her tale, it is my dungeon that the Sin Eater Witcher, late, late brother did Espeen, Fi, was indeed being the seek, being that we seek in it, most likely is the practical fault. In the absence of any subsequent sighting, I have no reason to believe our quarry hath sought a new sanctuary. And given the considerable difficulty we face in the region of falls, it may be certain that it's not been disturbed by me. 
My course is clear. Must navigate to Katana Ravel and make and make for Ratika Falls. Oh, you see it as another obstacle to be navigated. Ravel is the oldest and most sacred of our temple. The community of knowledge of the Empire who is set to reside within. Or which is rightly yours as allies of wrong for you. I fully intend to survey every ilm of it. Our missions. Were the Emperor still alive, you'd be overjoyed to hear you say so. I must warn you, though. But while the way is open, it will be heavily guarded. Third trespassers and test of and test the worth of our allies, it had to be so. Be careful. Head east and you'll find the path of reserve flowers leading to the rival. Wish you safe passage through its calls. I'm sorry I know I cannot deter you from going, so please promise me you will return safely. Now, let us away. out the whip. Is it gunbreaker too? Hey. I'll be taking Now it's just you go. Go in, do this dungeon, and then you do the last remaining quest afterwards and call it a night. Our earlier efforts were not in vain, it seems. Down your guard, Rotaro. Not to wait. We know not what awaits the time. Your god. Usually dungeons are run pretty off a hope. That I get one. Anyhow, now that we have some time, I don't know if anyone's still out there, but I hope your night's been going pretty well. Um, you know, um, I'll just be kind of just doing this this uh, this dungeon next, and then I'll look to try and beat somebody. Uh, of course, after completing the Dola quest afterwards. Uh, but I hope your night and or day has been well. Um, I'm zoned. I, I tend to get a lot of Europeans visit me. Always like to, I always like to welcome, you know, those across the pond. And like, they, they tend to enjoy them. And for anyone who's out there, Now, Link, with the completion of this chunk, how much left do you believe? Above over half, or do you of that? Eh, probably like around half ish. On half ish. But there's still a few more zones to get through. Yeah. How many more does there need to be? Yeah. 
Anyone one question. Afterwards, quest chain of twenty. Quite the wave. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been liking Shadowbringers so far. This is, I like this a lot. Very good. It's like about most people's favorite, probably yeah. expansions. For sure. Why? Like first, cool, great place. All of its story, even better. Watch all this chat rage on. Party just All it really is right now is looking for a fucking healer. Yeah. Oh, it's broken. I know for certain if I can if we find one. Walling out of control. Not until then. I like this map a lot. Let's mount. So. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 one of these days, bro. I'm literally only one. I'm literally only one expansion behind. This is crazy. I did get some really nice looking. Oh, this is above what I normally would see. Oh shit! Is that a card? Where the fuck did I get these cards from? Oh, let's get that. From bosses, probably. Yeah, that tiny one came from the uh, trial. I didn't know that. I hadn't realized that uh, that the materia can go beyond five. I thought five would be the. No, uh, it keeps going up. It's at like what? Let's see. I mean, it's gone up as the expansions and patches have gone on. Currently up to ten. There it is. That's kind of dumb. I have to have multiple of the same serving to actually increase my my well-fed buff. Yep. Because they each apply different stat buffs. That's why I just carry around the. Uh... Clearly, that's, why, I, that's why you just have a fuck ton of boiled eggs on you. Yeah, because they're easy to cook. With the, the uh, cooking profession.
Holy shit. <coughs> uh, my voice is going hoarse just by spitting. Of all the times for your sub to run out. <laughs> plans for me in the future up ahead. <clears throat> I don't want to blend it like that. Wait till you get to uh, tank cues for alliance raids. Tank cues for alliance raids. I understand alliance raids will take forever because you got to find multiple tanks and multiple cues. Not even just that. Uh, tanks specifically because there's only three per raid. <laughs> yeah. Versus six healers and like what? 18. And your weight. Or a, t a ton more DPS. It's one tank per party. One, one tank per party, four DPS, two healers. Yep. Is that the right number? Yeah. Actually, wait, it's like, uh, it's, actually, it's full parts, so it's like five. Five DPS? I believe so. The number has to, it's, it's, it's three teams of 28 eight party members. Yeah, so five DPS. Which is why tank keys for those line raids take the longest. Crazy. Versus the others. I did some sort of like friend event thing as uh, he has that thing where he can he has reduced teleportation. I'm that sure it's like a reduced teleportation rates. That's uh and the heat of battle buff. That's a uh, free company buffs that you unlock as you level up, level uh, level it up. Those are. So before I can start throwing those on, we have to just level it up more. Only you could play more. Or did I rank three? Because that, that helps anything. She just asked. She asked me like what? A bit ago, a couple minutes ago, who should she doodle, Astinian or Amric? I told her Amric, and now she's supposedly drawing Amric at, at this very moment. Amazing. Oh, we found- oh, oh, fantastic. Yes, of course, we found one DPS in the span of <laughs> 10 minutes. I bet you if I did this as a white mage, it wouldn't be fine. I mean, yeah, 
healer, obviously having the fastest. Lois. That'd take time to actually earn. That'd take some time, like turn some of this stuff into gold. And sell a bunch of stuff in your normal inventory, like all that material. Wouldn't I have to throw this into the market though for these? No, you can or just I, sell or can them. I just send them to like the like some random? Yeah, just throw it in a vendor trash, pretty much. Sell it for vendor shit. Sell it. Throw it into vendor trash is. Yeah, because the usual term is called selling it for uh, selling it as vendor trash, aka no real other use for it other than just selling it to an NPC for a bit of money. Cool. I imagine that's because you can just get the optimized shit later on, or you have no yeah. need. You have no need of material yeah. until much, much later when you're doing like bigger, harder. Um, yeah, stuff. like the material you'll want for that is like the current NBA material, which currently is ten. So anything lower than that really isn't worth it to put on your gear. And it becomes even more worthless the lower you go. Oh cool, we found both the we found both the PS map. I'm found you know, it. Right? Like I'm what useful to use are ones for like crafters to Allow you to craft certain things as you're leveling up the crafter or gatherer. But that's really it. Materia can do. Like. Stuff of the hand can also do crafting stuff? Uh, stuff the hand and land. Crafting and gathering. Because there's materia for both those, because it increases certain stats. Oh, like fine. for fishing, I have some lower materia for on my level that I put in. That's quite literally just used to increase my uh, fishing, like, quote unquote, mana points, for the best way I can explain it. This is Light Warden. So, I believe the end bosses. Yeah. But you have to make it through the entire uh, Indiana Jones movie before you fight that thing. Oh my god. Who am I with today? Monk, Summoner, and Sage. The Sage is a mentor. I walk past this person? Oh. No, it is a fight. They mini boss. Also, those lasers light up. Place the wall between. Place those walls right there between you and yeah. Behind that wall right there. And that is currently this little mechanic. Holy shit, I actually have access to, um... I'm not gonna pull it into the boss room.
sides, I see. I don't know how to check it when it swaps sides, though. Oh, I see. It's because of the owls. Well, not because of the owls, but like, I know it's of the owls. Owls. First boss time. I was gonna get up this time. Okay, okay. This is usually the game teaches you about mechanics that rely on specific parts of the actual arena. Yeah. This is not really something they did before. Outside of like a couple raid fights. I like it. Adds more to the uh the experience really. I think not. Those goddamn anacondas doing that shit. Do it so often, it's annoying. Hey, look at you.
Just nothing but quiet and focus. I'm sorry, guys. Back to my health things. I was going to down. Close one too. Draw that shit. Hey Link. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I'm looking at DPS related stuff on FF blogs. You should have seen it. I was about to die. I, I had to pop it. I had to pop. Um... I had to pop fucking. Uh, what you gonna call it? Superbloid. Yeah. It was like like right before I was about to die too. They have race. Mm, some of this, uh, Summoner has brought the one actual <laughs> decent utility they bring to a part. Summoner has But they're also a sprout. They had no fucking idea. Probably never had not, they probably uh, never have even had to like use that before. All I'm gonna say is not an excuse for not reading abilities. Read your tooltips! Oh shit. Gotta run all the run back to the boss. Why is the summoner still dead? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What a run back, Jesus Christ. 
Couldn't the shortcut be closer? No, I thought it'd just be an in and out 15 minute adventure. No, bro. Now I have to walk back and. Oh my god. Check is. I think so. I just say go for it. At that point, if I see them move, because they literally started moving. I can't even use interrupt or anything. Or anything you know. Nope. It's not fun. <laughs> I gotta get used to those. Yeah, they're niche and really only used during crash pulls. They're very specific bosses. Ah. Oh god, here we go. Not like WoW, where interrupts are used to interrupt almost any castles. Because playing WoW as well as this, it's interesting to see the difference between the interrupts in this versus that. And WoW interrupts are a lot more prevalent. They're used a lot more, they have certain abilities, they're used on more. I think, wouldn't you, wouldn't you say that kind of adds to what will make it difficult to play well though? I know that people like to consider it to... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, tactically it's more just like, there's a, a lot more jobs that have been interrupted than that. That's the thing. Is it more being a case of a use more, more things to use it on, more mechanics that revolve around it? I'd say this game overall has more fun boss fights just in general, although when it comes to the classes that you play, WoW definitely takes it. Each job has multiple specs, which can mean, well, not job, but each class has multiple specializations, aka, take my main Death Knight. You got Frost Death Knight, the DPS, Unholy Death Knight, the DPS, Blood Death Knight, the Tank. And on top of that, you have talent to spec into. So there's a lot more act. Unlike in this game, and wow, there's actual like building of classes, going for specific builds and all that. Well, the jobs in this are more static. Yeah. Yippee. Yo, son. That was certainly a. I was certainly a run back of the century. That's you! Holy shit. You sneeze. 
Oh, we're at the Rapika Falls. Light Warden's ahead. Is it? Yes, it is. Thank you and thank you. I mean, he, he blessed me from the chat. <laughs> I should have muted. That's my bad. I'll get to peek my like a couple different times right there. Another one of those damn delusions. Ah, there was poison here, I didn't even fucking see.
Yes. You've probably noticed, but this boss being built off the fucking uh, World of Darkness server's boss. Ah, you're right, it's very true. Yeah, it's gonna push you back. No! Especially with the uh, charge halfway across the arena. They survived that. Oh, look at his mouth. Middle. I was quite a bit blocked there, aren't they? Poison just below him, he's cheating. Yeah, that's that's because whoever had the uh, one that he aims at a player put it underneath him. That's disgusting. <laughs> Actually, so evil. We did it. Somebody before they run away from me. That's a save, Jonas. Save is real. I want it. I also want it. You, you gotta hope that he, uh, they don't roll better. I shall wait. He ran off with the with the fucking scroll. <laughs> no. Another one that I'm going to be. Missing. I can't wait to see what the Night Blessed think whenever they see the Night return to them. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so
But with all this light that I'm taking, of course I'm not spitting it out, apparently. So... But what's gonna happen to me whenever, whenever I take them off? Man, I wonder... Am I gonna turn <laughs> to a light warden? The light warden is dead. The Blessed's prayers have been answered. Yep. And it's without the help of the Omar, too. Aye, that they have. So the children can, um, honestly, be, uh, actually, I'm refrain from it. His condition yet troubleth thee? It does. Though he shows no immediate signs of corruption, the danger remains. He must be told. Tell me. I can hear you two fuckers talking back there. Straight up. Quit acting like I don't hear. Quit yapping like I don't. Describe it to me, Marie Ange. Paint for me a picture with your words. Night sky. Yeah, she's Can't blind. See it. She can only see sea of shimmering ether. stars, diamonds strewn across a raven gown, boundless and beautiful. That's cute. It is an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source. Calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. For however deep the void or wide the expanse, there is no shore so distant as to be beyond the reach of light. Ominous though that may sound, given our present travails. Simply need a balance. Just spank him. Well fought. Let us return home. Spank that guy. Nice. Oh shit. New mural. Burning city, some sort of gods that Thank god you kills you one god the murals light god kills if dark I'm god mistaken, they predate the empire how can you tell a peculiarity of the paint most are made from mineral based pigments but whatever was used here is older than anything i have ever seen kills dark god <laughs> according to almet this sanctuary was built to preserve the wisdom of the ancients. What events do these murals commemorate, I wonder? Or two. I met. Man, is he here to explain? You always linger after defeating your enemies. Navigating these halls on foot is exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> He's just upset Doesn't that you have to walk to around. Safety, have you? was bored. But how is the hero of the hour? Hmm. Fighting fit, I see. Keep up the good work. He's like staring at me like something. Of course he is. Every hour of every day. <laughs> Never you mind about that. As I have told you a thousand times Bro, ain't before, even hiding it. I like to watch. Every hour of every day. Well, I would quit this place and I suggest you do the same. There is yet work to be done. What does an Asian look like to your shoulder? They definitely don't have aether like that, do they? Oh, I mean, I do. There is a sight to bring a tear to the eye. You recognize these Ether isn't light, it's just the life energy. What everything oh. is made of. That I Pretty do. much. More, but Indeed, in a more spiritual a sense. When anyone and everyone would. Until one calamitous day when the world was divided across ten and three reflections. Sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. So this was, this predated before the... Worst the... Part Yep. Schism? No one could remember it. Not really. This predated the, the schism? Fleeting memories of an aching the society that world. existed before it was split into multiple worlds. A vision shared of a paradise lost. Preserved only in song 
and scripture and pain. Once upon a time. Yet here we find ourselves again. To look, learn, and remember. Then share with us the stories you know so well. We are listening. You know, weird thing. I've always liked to imagine um, that the... Um, Final Fantasy 14 1.0. Before the great sundering, it got one world. It got a rejoined. World that knew naught but and then we got and then we take and, and then we and then 2.2.0 goes on to it was faced with a crisis. different one. Unprecedented. Uh, it, th there's actual lore for that. I'll explain it after this cutscene because this is pretty important. But uh for 1.0, there's actual lore for it. I should you not. Oh, we'd like to watch it. But through prayer and it sacrifice. It is. The will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac was his name, and by oh. his grace was the calamity averted. The Asians God, as well, Laha Bray was saying. Zodiac. A savior mighty and magnificent, deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hyden, she who was <laughs> to serve as his shackle, to bind him and hold him in check. So they and fought, and they fought, and they fought, and in the end, Hydaelyn was victorious. With all her strength, she smote him, dealing a blow so devastating that it split the very fabric of reality. <laughs> Thus, was Zodiac banished and his being divided. That concludes today's lesson on long-forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account, as is her wealth. Sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. Well, prime ones. What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or. Oh. Ah. Oh. They're primals. <laughs> they are gods after a fashion, yes. Interesting. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Yeah. Formed of faith and prayer. Prayer. Conviction, and, conviction and, and devotion. The primals, bro. What the fuck? So Hydaelyn, the one the who's been, you know, guiding you, is a primal. Of primal. Yeah, I have a job to do, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a stack. You've spun quite a tale. Oh shit! And what? It's all you true. explained the role of the Asians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? I see. <laughs> so the Asians' plan is to cause so much chaos that people believe in the Zodiac again. Finally, you not necessarily. It's to question. start the rejoining, which is to piece together honest answers. all well, the worlds the... back into its true form. Well, the main goal is to bring back Zodiac, is it not? Not for we all the Asians. Asians know because it is our history. Our <laughs> there it is. Wait. The Asians are the, the ancient Asians are the people ancient from the Zodiac. original we world. Natives of that summoned yeah. paradise. And it was them that also summoned Hyalin. Half of them, you know, split. Now. Do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? Because they want their world back. Yep. They want their world back. They want their for friends and all that back. For our their people. people. For all creation to be made whole again. Interesting. But what of these Asians? Wouldn't you wish for the same? How would you know which ones wish for Wouldn't what? Wouldn't you wish for the same? And honestly, I can't argue I mean, with you them. You can't blame them. 
can't blame any of them. They literally just want their home, their world, their people back. Want their world back? Just as much as we'd like to protect ours. Yep. Wow. This is when it goes from the Assassins being comical villains bringing chaos to the desperate shit, real. beings that just want their they original their world, world their home, their people back. Damn. Recent events mainly warrant further discussion. I think it's best that we mix self included. I'm convinced that he should lose it. Um, well, no matter. For the present, we shall, re we shall return to Fano and make certain of the Orin's withdrawal. After that, Silibo, plus are no doubt elated by what is going on. And this right here, that does that cutscene is where I feel like it's super fucking interesting for this expansion story. This cutscene or the one I just experienced? The one you just experienced. How it's all, like, so much shit is revealed there. He wants his world back. Uh. Trying to think. So what are we doing? What are, what, are, what are we doing then? Us. I mean, you're trying to prevent the rejoining because obviously that means you and your people are going to die. Right. Right here, we're trying to stop light from completely taking over because that would cause another rejoining and another calamity. Which, as you saw from Urianje's vision of the future, you and everyone else end up dead because of the Black Rose. Another thing event? Nah, uh, stuff the Black Rose would be the Calamity. And the thing with 1.0 is, you remember the 7th um Umbral Calamity? The one of the yeah. past? Yeah. Yeah, when 1.0 ended, that's what happened. I mean, I know, the, I knew that. Yeah, the ending of 1.0 was that Calamity in your world. When Bahamut was, you know, summoned from Dalamud, and Grandpa Louis Schwa went up there and Dead. pretty much Dead. sacrificed Dead. himself to uh, seal Bahamut back. Yeah, it's in the cutscene. I remember that. Yeah, and actually, at the uh, end of 1.0, like as it was going on, the action thing where everyone knew it was going to shut down, you could see the moon, the red moon Dalamud, slowly getting bigger and bigger as it got closer. And then when wow. the servers were shut down, that cutscene played. And the interesting, the people's characters, like their player characters, like let's say you started 1.0 and you came to, you know, a Reborn. Yeah. The lore for that is, at, um, you probably remember at the end of the cutscene, Louis Schwa also teleports the adventurers into like a forest area. Yeah. Yeah. Those players, their characters, were sent into the future. And that's... Uh, how they end up getting into, you know, a Realm Reborn story. Versus us, who came in as no-name adventurers on a cart. Oh, so they had their own... Yep, like, yeah, they, they had, had their, their very own, like, intro, sort of, That's where effort. they came from, sort of thing. That's effort, wow. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. That's a, it's, a, it's such a cool addition. They brought their characters over, and it was their whole, you know, own thing. Really I also, I also know... I also know that, um... Character 1.0 characters also have a unique amount. Yep. And let people know that they have that they're 1.0. Yeah, 1 they, they were here since the game was they they started when the game was not that great. <laughs> and still stuck with it. Thank God. I've been waiting to see whenever I'd be able to, you know, close up and start getting to rest up. Yeah. Back to, uh, out of the forest and back to the Crystarium. Off to the next area for next time. Hey, we're back. What make you of the, of the sky? Ah, you are returned. And none the worse for wear, I see. Look up yet. Worry about us. Too bad it's what fucking daytime. Soldiers, more That's... You can see the sun. Can it's see it's currently daytime. The, the actual night night day. Sky. Children of the everlasting dark have also retreated back to Woven Oath. 
They saw the knights here and like, oh shit, we're too Rise late. Get the fuck out of here. Not deny the truth of their own also, the Umorn army didn't have Ranjit with them. So, they're all cowards. What do you expect? They barely do any the fighting. Sea of heaven, full of love and grace. None needs no pain or... Versus these motherfuckers who've been fighting Sin Eaters. Man, you'd think, you'd think they'd have, like, like, cutscenes meant for the, meant for, like, this moment. Whenever you'd the think they'd have it set to a specific time, like they do when, you know, you finish the dungeon, and the night sky shows up. Yeah. It's weird, it isn't, like, instance in this specific cutscene. Even if it was, like, this cutscene, then you came out of it and it swapped a day, it'd still be fine. The saviors for whom we have prayed for so very least it set up the scene for the you know it add some more context that, to what's being said that he called me the bringer of shadow i suppose you're not entirely, <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you're entirely wrong nor have we any desire to be worshipped if you would pray pray for your children that they may one day know a better world i will do as you say please let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. You deserve that much. Feast time. Feast time. I'm sorry, Renard, but there's still much to be done and scant time in which to... Yeah, we got Black Rose in our own world. We, we got to go. All of us. For we share the same path and the same fate. The work of a hero never stops. So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts, as we will hold you in ours. Now and ever after, by the boundless dark. How are the Asians immortal if they were just? That's something you'll learn about in the future. And Walker, I'm betting. I'm betting. Uh, I think a bit of it in like the pre uh, post Shadowbringers patch quests, but because mostly in Endwalker. The reason I, the only reason I ask is because, well, obviously being if the rejoining is supposed to be killing a lot of people, i.e., me and my world, and whoever and all the other worlds and all the other worlds. What does that make of well, us? What happens to us if the Asians are who they are now? Uh, explain better. I'm having a hard time understanding. Give me a second. I'll just I'll explain this in a little bit. I need to find someone to raid and go to get off and go to. Ah, all right. Chicha. Find somebody of, of similar of similar size. We're only five, aren't we? I think so. Boom, new, new, nuke. I get to hydrate one last time before it's time for me to get off. Let's give <laughs> the hydrate. Goodbye, gang members. Hope you have all, all have a great time. I hope you treat Nunu Nuke with a great welcome. Bye for now.